Good morning, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing out there in the stratosphere, the throbbing brain, the Internet, all over the world? We're out here at Adrenaline RC Raceway for the J Concepts INS-12 out here in Winchester, Virginia. Awesome facility, great family, and uh, track surface has been developing big time out here this entire weekend. We are on slicks. Guys going to slicks this weekend. They've never been on it before. I think it's going more towards the norm. They've been blowing off the sides of the track and and they're the line of the track, and it's really been uh, through these guys for a loop, but we're getting going here for main event day here on Sunday. So looking forward to seeing what's going on. There's going to be some bump-ups. I believe two bump-ups in the stock classes, and uh, well, only one guy's going to make it out of this one. Hopefully all is well. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to get this one going. We are off and rolling here. Rick Shannon going to go into that number one slot. <clears throat> Rick missing out on qualifying, showing up for the mains here. Did do a couple practice days with us. So, not his first time on the track. Got practice on Thursday, Friday. How's everybody doing out there? Remember, guys, we have that team associated SC6.2. SC6.2 for the waffle. I think we still have about, I want to say, five or ten spots left if you guys want in on it. Helps us with uh, the live feed. It's 20 bucks a slot. We have guys grabbing two, three slots at their chance to win SC 6.2. I think we have about 10 slots left. Let us know if you want that information. As we're getting into this seven-minute C main event out here, looks like Rick Shannon. Oh, Rick getting it wrong there. He has a pretty cool little buggy. I don't know if we're able to focus in on that, uh, but it's an older-style uh, two-wheel drive buggy that he's got. I don't know exactly what it is. It right, looks like two are bumping out of this C main. What's going on, guys? How's it going, the mouth? What's going on, story? Happening, poor man. What's going on, BJ? Thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to share, like, the feed, guys, it helps us out a lot. Rick Shannon in the lead of this one. What's going on, James Elliott? KP, hello. Four minutes and 35 seconds left to go. Four minutes, 35 to go. Reaction in your race leader. Down the straightaway he goes in that blue, black, pink, yellow. Lots of colors on that car. Got some blue aluminum. Bright yellow wing. If you're asking about the weight on that top force, I think it came in at like 1,600 after being balanced. I think it is a it is a proper corner balanced vehicle as well. Coming across the line here, 31-1. Oh, goes for a tumble. It's all good though. He's got his whole spare buggy with him just in case he breaks apart.
Got 3.05 left to go. 3.05 left to go. Just past that halfway mark here. Rick, Dwight, and Marcus. Rick coming through that wagon wheel into the rhythm chicane. Keeping it nice and smooth on all fours. Not taking any risks. Trying to get his money's worth out of the class since he didn't get to do qualifying. Zooming around that bull and down the straightaway. Race number two. Four drive buggy 13.5 expert B main. You guys are up next. Should be going through tech. And if not in tech, you should be through tech. 205, 205. Again, my marshals will be these couple guys Two here. And also Tommy Smith, Daryl Stokes, Mike Sunderland, and Chris Bertram. You guys will be my marshals up next. You're my, my overhang from this race since I had plenty of guys. So I need those four guys to help me out. <clears throat> oh, getting a little, getting a little, getting a little slippy there. Coming around after making that inside move through that straightaway into the spine back, and down the straightaway goes that super duper top four Evo. A minute fifteen to go. Minute fifteen to go. Looks like Dwight gonna take over that race lead now, but he's gonna make a mistake. Oh, but Rick's also going to make a mistake. They both wreck. They're both back underway. Dwight coming through that back sweeper. Over the roller he goes into the switchbacks. Can Rick Shannon make a money move? Easy there. Easy. I mean, I mean he, is, he is a lap up. Forty seconds to go, forty seconds to go. Dwight and Rick. One and two. Marcus in the three. So again, race number two. You guys should be on deck. Fifteen seconds to go, fifteen seconds to go. Dwight through that wagon wheel in that silver with the yellow wheels through that rhythm chicane coming up over that first double and singles the second set. That is time on the master clock as you cross the line. You will be done as you cross the line. You Marcus will be done. done. So it looks like it's going to be Dwight and Ricky going to the B main. Dwight Hannon done. One more to finish up here. One more to finish up. Those of you on blowers, make sure you blow off. And then again, I need Tommy, Daryl, Mike, and Chris Rick as Shannon my marshals. Done. All drivers and are finished. And that is a race. The race is completed. Frank, his name's Frank. Hey, Frank, can you grab that blower for me and then blow down the straightaway? And over into cone number one. The blower's behind you. The blower's behind you. The blower's behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. The blower's behind you. Behind you. The blower's behind you. You got to blow down the straightaway and over to cone number one, which will be right here in the front right corner. You got to grab the blower and blow down the straightaway. Use the blower. Come down the straightaway. And just blow off the, the racing line.
Yeah, Tacoma number one. Howdy, guys. Let's see if I can answer some questions. Yeah, it was the C main. So more of the novice guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the feeds, guys. We're going to have our, we got our interview cam up. Got our big cam seeing all the track. Obviously, our follow cam. So thank you for tuning in. Be sure to share and like and subscribe. Really helps us out. Also, if you guys want in on the SC 6.2 for the SC information for the SC 6.2, I think we have about 10 slots left. For it helps us with the live feed as well. Compliments of J Concepts and Team Associated. Special thanks to them. We'll get this race started here, guys. Joe's going to be leading us out. I need somebody at cone one. I should have enough guys. Uh, ba -do -ba -do -do. Oh, I know who I'm looking for. Stokes here. Oh, he's racing. Oh, that doesn't work then. Uh, ba -do -ba -do -do. Mr. Smith, could I get you a cone one for me? Thank you. <clears throat> all right. Should be all good to go here. All right. We've got marshals. We've got some drivers. So it's, again, it is Joe, Damon, Talon, Joe Fioka, Mike, Dwayne, Daryl, and no Ben. All right, we're all good to go. Let's have a nice, clean start. Patience is key here. We got seven cars going off. On the sound of the tone, you will be live. All right, have a nice, clean start. A nice, clean. All right, as we get this one going, Joe going to lead us off. Coming around. What looks to be a 22X4. Oh, a little bit of side-by-side -side action there from second place. I'd say that's clean. That's from Damon Smith. I would say that was a nice, clean pass. A little wheel-to-wheel -wheel action in the air as they come down the straightaway on it. Coming up and over the double right now. And around the wagon wheel. Top two bump. Top two bump. Talon right there. He's going to be from Hoosier. Going up over the double. His car looks mean. I know he's running the center mod puck system in there. Coming down the straightaway. Taz, top three, break away. Oh, Talent goes into second. Up and over. Around the wagon wheel right now. Battle for second and third. Seven minutes, a long time on these cars. Coming through and now on the trail. Oh, third place gets it wrong. So Talon's going to start breaking away right now along with Damon Smith. As long as they don't make a mistake, they are pretty safe already with way more than a straightaway lead at the moment. Damon and Talon through those wagon wheels. Nice and smooth. Oh, that is Talon with a mistake. He's going to need a marshal, but nobody's close enough just yet to take that position. So he is going to hang on to number two. Those guys just need to work together if they get close again. Spigs moves his way back into that number three slot. Going to try and catch up to Talon. He wants that bump spot. He tags the pipe. He's going to bounce off, though, luckily. Not too much of an issue. Talon to the rhythm chicane as Spigs comes through the wagon wheel. 
So an okay separation there. Five seconds is the separation. Quite a bit of time to make up, but he does have four and a half minutes to do it. Damon checking out of this one here. 23-9 that time by Talon in the two. Spigs in the three. It's going to be a 24-3 from Talon that time. We'll see what Spigs runs. He's going to come by with a 24-8. So Talon is going to stretch that gap out. Talon, though, is going to get it wrong in the rhythm chicane. Spigs on his way through. Still not close enough just yet, but that is going to help him quite a bit here. Coming down that back straight into the spine back is Talon. Now Spigs. Straight away comes Talon. Makes it through nice and smooth. Can Spigs make it through nice and smooth? Both beautiful. No hit in the pipe. Talon gets it wrong again. Separation as the line with a 2.2. But Spigs is now on the tail of Talon Henley as they come through that rhythm chicane into the double doubles. Talon trying to hold off, but he tags the pipe. Spigs and go on by. So Spigs now back into that number two slot after that rough start. We'll see if he can hang on to it. Same story. Tons and tons of time left to go. He's going to tag the pipe. But he's luckily not going to need a marshal. Damon checked out of this one. 10.6 up on Spigs, who's now going to start feeling the pressure from Talon as they come through the rhythm chicane. Talon all over the back door of him here, over those doubles, into the roller. Just remember, if you make that pass, it's got to be clean. Into that back straightaway, through the spine back. Talon with a wide line there, trying to make sure Spigs has tons of room. Maybe trying to take an opportunity to go outside, inside. Goes for an inside move there, tags the pipe, just not enough room, barely. Another inch and he would have gone for it. Spigs in that two, Talon just behind, through those doubles, once again into that back right sweeper. Over the roll they go, Spigs super wide, Talon now fighting back, through the spine back, Spigs almost gets it wrong, he does get it wrong, he collects Talon, get Talon first, Talon is this, that is Talon's, good work, good work, so Talon Gonna be in that number two slot now. Two and a half minutes to go. Two and a half minutes to go. We are starting to get into crunch time here. Damon, super far away at this point. He is nice and safe. Just has to keep it on all fours. Spigs gets it all kinds of wrong. That's gonna put Sunderland back in that spot. Collision there. Unfortunately, out of Spigs' hands. Talon now with tons and tons of space. We'll see. Any one of these three guys can catch up to that bump position. Race is far from over. Two Anything could happen. A wheel nut, a wire, an arm. You never know. You got to keep fighting till the end. But Talon and Damon looking very good right now. Just working on orbiting at the moment. Sunderland and Spigs. They're coming through that back right sweeper over the roller. Spigs going to try and make a move on Sunderland into the spine back. He does get it done. Sunderland rolls it over. He's down the straightaway now. Going to try and get back into that fight. A minute and a half to go. It's going to take a lot of hero laps and a mistake out of Talon to have an opportunity again. Ray's there through that wagon wheel. He's into the rhythm chicane. That is Damon Smith. He's looking to go to those triple 13-5 A mains. Talent coming into the rhythm chicane as Spigs comes across the line now. It is a 10.3 gap. Spigs does make up a tenth, but it's not going to be enough. There's a minute, minute left, left to go. He's going to have to put in something crazy here. Talent now with open track ahead of him. He is the master of his own destiny at this moment. 50 more to go, 50 more to go. Through the wagon wheel goes Mr. Talent. Looks like Spigs stuffs it in the pipe. So Talon, very, very safe now. Damon coming up to actually put these guys a lap down. So Race Lear coming up behind Sunderland and Spigs. Jumps right over top of him. There's Talon across the line. 23 seconds left to go. 23. There's an okay chance Talon makes it by for another lap. And if he does cross the line for that extra lap, he will be 100% safe. 10 seconds to go, 10 seconds to go. No, oh, looks like Fioka missed a lap. Talon Henley done. Behind you, Rick, behind you, Rick. Time has expired. As you cross the line, you will be done. Talon Darryl Henley, Stokely you finish done. in that number two slot. Damon Joe coming Spiegel to take done. that number one slot. So Damon done. and Talon gonna get those bumps into the triple 
A main. A couple more to finish up here. Couple more to finish. Joe done. And that is a race. Blowers, make sure you do your lime. I need. Yep. There we go. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so the we're race is the race. completed. Hey, Mr. Hardison, can you come to the booth for me real quick? Oh, well, that's, that is not correct. Jason Rager. So something that's very interesting. out there Damon dude car looked great and uh, just kept it out front the entire time how's it feel yeah I mean mod puck system is making the car so much easier to drive it's battery life is not an issue anymore I mean we were having issues with the skinnier packs but I mean once we got the batteries figured out it was a lot better and a lot easier to drive nice man anybody want to think out there as you go to the main yeah all my sponsors for giving me this opportunity Phantom VRP and I mean I've been running pro lines all weekend grip's been amazing I mean that's really it. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you, man. Man, Talent, definitely a hard-fought battle there at the end, having some issues, you know, hit the pipe. You guys are having a good battle, and uh, you're able to kind of turn up the wick a little bit, turn up the speed, and uh, get that win. I just had to learn to back off and, uh, you know, hold my time and not worry about wrecking. Awesome. How's it feel going to the main? Oh, I'm, I'm ready. All I got to do is make some changes that I know I got to make. Awesome, bud. Anybody want to think out there? I want to thank my parents, my mom, my dad, especially my mom, who I want to wish a happy birthday. I love you, Mom. Awesome, buddy. Good luck. That last race, so every single cone should be covered without any issue. All right, I need somebody on cone five and cone six. All right, so I've got I got two marshals down here at cone one. I've got two marshals at cone one. So I need one of those two guys to go to the back. Hey, Mr. Spigs, Spigs, can I get you to cone five? Cone five is in the back. All right, so it's going to be Diego, our T6.2 winner, on pole position for our B main, followed by David Allen, 2, Rick, 3, William, 4, Joseph, 5, David, 6, Jason, 7, and Jermaine in the 8. All right, guys, so far our starts have been pretty good. Remember, patience. We do have a bit of a, a, bit of a noodle here at the end of the straightaway, so... Patience is key. Let's not have a pileup. I got marshals. I've got drivers. You guys will go live on the sound of the tone. Less than five. All right. All right. That works. That works. That was great stuff there, guys. Nice, smooth start. So this is race three on track. This is race three on track. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. This is your 17.5 Indy B main. Looks like Diego going to be leading us around. That's going to be Rick Tosfanen in that number two slot. Looks like we maybe had a, a bit of a cluster here. Lots of cars going by now. So Diego and Rick leading us around. We got seven minutes of driving to do. Those guys pretty comfortably out in the front end of the field here. There's our race leader coming across the line. He is that purple, blue, and white. Number two, green, gray, and blue. 
Number three to be William Huff. He's going to be that white with the silver stripes. Minute 20 in, minute 20 in. Diego, our race leader, currently with 3.3 up on Rick, who has six up on William. Our oh, Rick and a suffer in the fight. This is going to give William an opportunity and Joseph to make up some ground here, maybe take over that transfer spot. It is two transfer positions, eight went straight in, two bump. Five minutes to go, five minutes to go. Diego, Rick, William, Joseph, David, David Allen, Jason, and Jermaine is your running order at the moment. William working on catching up to Rick down the grid, crossing the line over that front double. Can Rick hang on to it for the next 445? He's to the wagon wheel. And Joseph now going to jump up in there. William with a mistake after that front double. So Joseph looking, watching the doubles, guys. Watch the doubles. We have a down card, down card. It is broken. It is broken. Watch the doubles. Watch the doubles. Four minutes and 20 seconds left to go. 4.20. Ray Slater running his way through the rhythm chicane over the doubles now. Miles ahead of the rest of the field. It's going to be the battle for number two. Joseph wazes his way into the inside line there. He's going to go into P2. Rick, P3. But this fight is far from over. There's three guys fighting for it. Into the doubles they go. Joseph going to be in that number two slot. Contact there between him and David. Rick now just watching these two, waiting for them to hit each other, hoping to take a position while they tangle. Down the straightaway, Rick tries to stick it up the inside of Joseph. No move there quite yet. David, though, he's going to move into that number two slot. David from the six on the grid. Had a bit of a rough start, but he's pulled it all back now in that transfer slot. Race leader crossing the line there. Three minutes, 25 seconds left to go. Watch the front, guys. Watch the front double. Front double. Caution in the front double. Caution in the front double. All clear, all clear, all clear. Marshall is clear. P2 coming through that rhythm chicane. That yellow, I believe that is a green or blue and then a purple with the yellow wheels coming in to the switchbacks now. Two minutes and 45 seconds left to go. Diego Quintana, your race leader, having a great day so far, wins the kit and he's looking to win the B main and go into the A here. Down the grid he goes. 2.30 to go, 2.30 to go. <clears throat> Number two gonna be David. Let's see if we can find him on track there. He's coming down the grid now. 14.2 the separation between one and two. Now 9.9, .9, a long lap there for Diego. But still a pretty hefty lead to be made up. Both of these guys in a very, very good position here. David with five up on William. Again, not Two an impossible left. feat, but it is going to be difficult as we close into our final stage of the race. Final two minutes. Race leader coming through the wagon wheel. Separation now 6.3 for David. So David is going to try and actually go maybe for a win here. He made up four more seconds that time by. Diego gets it wrong. This could actually, this could shape up for Mr. Glacolo to take over the race lead. Both, though, will need to work together because they are in a very safe position to just get those transfer spots. David sending it into turn one. Or I guess that'd be the last turn. This would technically be turn one. Watch the uh, rhythm chicane, rhythm chicane at the top of the tabletop. All right, all clear, and Marshall is clear. Diego now going to have pressure from David. They just need to work together, though. Both are going to the A main. And they've got One currently 11.6 up on our number three. 
Watch the straightaway, guys. Watch the straightaway, 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 straightaway. All clear. We got a tumbler come from the rhythm chicane over. Diego, your race leader. David in the two. These guys looking to go into the A main with 35 seconds left to go. 35 left to go. They're into the spine back. And down the straightaway comes our race leader. David just behind him. 20 seconds left. This should be the final lap for him. As long as they don't have a battery dump or any mechanical issues, they are looking mighty healthy to go into that A main. 10 seconds left on the clock. Do that right hand back sweeper over the roller. They go down that back straight into the spine back. Just a couple more turns to go, and they will go into the A main, down the straight over for the final time, into that little chicane, cross the line. Diego in, David will be going into the A main. As you cross the line, you will be done. Diego, David, Joseph, and Rick, you are done. Looking for William, David Allen, and Jason Rager. Remember, guys, if you have a blower, make sure you blow Jason to the next section. Done. Awesome All job out there, finished. Diego. Dude, if I car looked great. You won a kit today, one. I do believe. And so uh, how does it feel? Blowing. Who do you want to thank? I mean, it feels great to, to finally out, be at a race. It's actually my first uh, race thank out of my much, uh, Mr. Andrew. Appreciate home it. track. So it feels pretty good to be out here and winning races. So. Awesome, buddy. Anybody want to thank? Um, That's Diego and Just my dad David and everyone who's helped me along the way. So. Be you got it, buddy. Congrats. Eight. Right, race number you. eight. What's going on, my man? I'm getting second, coming all the way out from Hoosier, and uh, I bet it feels good making the main. Yeah, definitely. It took a lot of work to get the car figured out, and I uh, just now got it figured out oh, this morning. Race actually, number had a rough four. day of qualifying yesterday. Put out uh, on track. Only we have a rain on ultra high grid. This, so this one, is totally different than anything I'm used to. So I will need some volunteers. Awesome. Anybody want to thank out there? One, but uh, I should have just everybody from Hoosier RC, Eddie and Angie, give us race. a great uh, facility to race at, learn, and everything. Uh, huge shout out to them. Congratulations. Thanks. All right. Looks like our blowers finishing up now. Guys, it's an eight-car race that's coming up next, or coming up for your A main. I'll make a I'll make a quick executive decision here. We're just gonna let you guys all bump. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press the start button. You're gonna cross the line, and then you'll just bump up in this exact starting order. So it'll just be 11 a car. So I'll go ahead and press the start button. Cross in the uh, starting order that you guys have now. So you guys are good, go ahead and cross the line. I'll finish the race and then you guys can save your batteries. I want to just let you all go to the A. And then that way I can just leave my marshals out there.
Alrighty, so you guys can pull in this time. You guys can pull in this time. We're going to finish this race. The race is completed. And we're going to bump all three. Finish bumps. Congratulations, guys. Race 15. All right, so my marshals just stay out there for right now. And then we've got another four-car race. So those of you guys that are in this race, I'll have you help out Marshall after the next one. So we'll have you guys marshal race five. And then those of you that were in race four, you're going to marshal race six. That way I've got plenty of marshals. So we will give these guys just a couple of seconds because, well, obviously they've got to go through tech. Actually, it looks like they've already all gone through tech. So this is convenient. Everybody's all ready to go. Brent Morgan. We can dismiss that. Alrighty, you guys can go ahead and take the track, get checked in. So do your warm ups and then we'll head to the grid. I see Brent's car down. There's Brent. Yeah, we're all we're all good on the the, the time end of things because obviously we just cut out a few minutes, so you guys are all good. Rich Clark, Chris Berry. Uh, we need assistance with a vehicle, I think. Again, we're good on time, so I'll give you guys just a moment. So the rest of you guys head to the grid. The rest of you guys head to the grid. So it's going to go Brent on the two, Rich on the three, Chris Berry on the four, and then Travis will hopefully be able to get his car fixed real quick. We are ahead of schedule, so I'll give you guys just a couple sec, or I'll give you a couple seconds to get that taken care of. So this is race five on track. This is race five on track. So Brent, you will go to the two. Do we have any update on Mr. Clark? One minute. Yeah, you're good. Just want to make sure it's not gonna, you know, be like an hour-long fix. In theory, we just cut out seven minutes of racing, so we've got a couple minutes to get everything taken care of. Oh, looks like they're. We'll go see what's. We'll see what's going on. Hope's got the screw, by the way. Oh, no, it's a washer. Oh, they're not using it. Looks like we are putting the steering link back on right now. It might be easier just to, like, force it on, yeah. All right, one more to go on, and then we'll send it to the grid. That didn't take too long. And we're still ahead of schedule. So again, Kite, DC, and Bryce, I'll have you guys help me out on the following race. That way I've got plenty of marshals. That'll give us seven marshal spots covered. I think the body should be going back on. So Travis, if you want to make your way up, if that is all good. Yep, body's going on. All right, send that car to the grid, and we will get started.
Travis Clark. Nice. You're going to set that car on the one. All right. Take a breather. Take a deep breath. Just We're just racing toy cars now. Alrighty guys, we've got marshals, we've got drivers, and a nice clean start on the tone in less than five. And we're off. That's a different set of wheels and tires on the front of uh, Brent's car than the rear. All right, so we got Travis Clark leading us around here. We got seven total minutes of driving here. Thank you, Marshalls, for bearing with me on that one. Travis Clark, your race leader. He's coming across the line now. Rich and Brent. Ah, Brent gets it wrong. Chris gets it wrong. They're both back underway, though. All right, guys. Two dudes. Make it in. Five minutes, 55 seconds. The Clarks coming across the line now, separating themselves, trying to get into that A main final. Travis over that 90 jump. And Rich now into the doubles. Through that back right hand sweeper over the roller into the switchbacks. Down that short shoot straight into the spine back. Nice and smooth by Travis. Had that little hiccup, but he's all good to go now. Five minutes and 20 seconds. Five minutes, 20 seconds. Travis Clark, your race leader. He's that white, orange, and blue. Coming to the bowl, down the grid now. Crossing over that single into the loop. Crossing that front double. Number two, Rich Clark. He is getting caught up, it looks like, by Brent Morgan. So Brent trying to have a fight in here. Take himself to the A main, but he's going to have to make up track position to do it. Through that rhythm chain goes Rich Clark. Double and double. Brent Morgan now, double and double. Nice and smooth. Four and a half to go, four and a half to go. Still lots of time. Watching the front, watching the front. All clear. 4.05 to go, 4.05 to go. Race leader coming through that wagon wheel now. Three minutes, 40 seconds to go. Three minutes, 40. Race leader through that short shoot into the spine back. Down the straightaway he goes just behind Mr. Chris Berry. 28-7. He runs his hot lap of the race right there. A little bit wide coming into the wagon wheel. All good, though. He's got plenty of breather, breathing room. Luckily able to get that truck taken care of. Brent Morgan makes up 1.2 seconds on Rich Clark that time by. Separation 3.6. There's three minutes to go. So if he makes up a little more than a second every minute, he's got an opportunity to take over that top slot. Or sorry, not that top slot, the bump slot. Two minutes, 45 seconds left to go. Travis Clark, followed by Rich Clark, followed by Brent Morgan and Chris Berry. 30 flat for Rich, 30 flat for Brent. Brent going less than a hundredth quicker, but that's still time being made up. Two and a half to go, two and a half to go. Race leader over the line now. 
Here's two down the grid and three now down the grid. A little bit more than a straightaway separates Rich and Brent. Coming across the line, what's it going to be? 30.6 to a 30.2. Another four tenths made up by Brent Morgan that time. Into the rhythm chicane goes two and three. Two Ooh, minutes Brent, left. A little bit of a mistake there. Separation down to 3.2. Two minutes left to go. Travis Clark, your race leader. Through the wagon wheel, he goes nice and smooth. Separation 3.3. Brent only loses a tenth on that lap. Minute 20 to go, minute 20 to go. Travis, Rich, Brent, and Chris. Up next, race number six, 13-5, Indy B Main. One minute left. So race number six, you guys should be through tech. Race number six should be through tech. Thirty seconds. Fifteen to go, fifteen to go. Rich should make it by. I believe Brent will get caught at the line. Five seconds left. That is time on the clock. As you cross the line, you will be finished. As you cross the line, you will be finished. So I will need all four of those guys out to Marshall. Travis, Travis Clark, Clark will take that transfer slot. Rich Clark, still alive. Still one more alive. Still one more alive, guys. Still one more alive. St there, there's still one more alive. Rich Clark and done. that is a all race. So Travis and Rich Clark going to be going to that A main. The race if you have a blower, make sure you are blowing. Looks like we're all good to go. Race number six. You guys can make your way up on the driver's stand. So I need Kite, DC, and Bryce to help me marshal from the last run. Or I guess technically two runs ago. Oh, wait. Bryce is in this one, I think. Although, I got Garrett out there. Garrett's a good guy. We'll be all good. Okay. A full 10. For those out here. there, what is that car? What is that car, guys? If it doesn't have it on the sticker that it's that car, I'm going to give you guys a free J Concepts t shirt for who tells me what car that is. So free J Concept T-shirt. If it wasn't on the sticker, someone's saying Matthew Stowbridge, the first one to comment in. Tamia, what kind of Tamia? All right, Matthew Stowbridge. He's gonna win that one. You get a free T-shirt, Matthew. I did not know what that thing was. Nah, everybody's saying that's a T, uh, Tamiya Evo. Well, because it said Top Force Evo on it, so but he said the actual car manufacturer because it didn't say Tamiya on it. So Matthew Stowbridge, you're going to win. You win a J-Concept T-shirt. All right, for this one, guys, is there a full heat of this one? Just 
There is. Okay, guys. Top three. Get your top three guesses in for a J Concept T-shirt. Top three guesses of how you think they will finish in order. Top three guesses. So, like, Rudy already has one, two, three. Nobody else can guess one, two, three. And that's how. That's what. That was a good idea in the pits. Is that you're the only one that can have it. And obviously, you can't win. So, because you can't. You can't win. But that's your guess. Get your guesses in, guys. Get your guesses in. Great job to Matthew Stobridge. Let me know what that was. I did not. I was I was scratching my head on that one. A Tamiya Evo racing out here. And we're going top three in this one. I'm kind of... So who's the number one? So Jeremy Frederick. So all you guys have to re-guess if you had one in your guess. Re-guess, re-guess, guys. Because first is not racing. First is not racing. Get in your guesses quick. Get in your races quick. Your guesses quick. Get in your guesses quick. And we're off. Keep it. All right, we're getting this one going. Coming around. Chance to win a J Concepts T-shirt. If you guys guess the finishing order, I'm gonna let you get to the six-minute mark before uh, I shut that down. As far as guessing, six-minute mark. Because the first first place is not there, so you guys have to re-guess. We're getting a, yeah, that's right. Rudy mentioned the waffle. If you guys want in on the waffle for that SC 6.2. It helps us bring the live coverage and helps Rudy get out here. And he likes that. Rudy likes to go to RC races and film. He loves to film for you guys. So it helps us get Rudy out here if you guys want to get in. Rudy says that's a lie. He doesn't like coming here. He hates me. <laughs> All right. First place coming down the straightaway. He's getting away right now. Yeah, that Tamiya Evo's out here in the B main event of Independent 13.5 four wheel drive. I saw him practicing with that thing, getting it ready. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. And we're following along with Joe Estridge in the lead of this one. David Allen going to make the move on Diego. They're both making a mistake in the spine back. Watch the doubles, guys. Double, double. Watch the double, double. Watch the double, double. Marshall's still there. Marshall's still there. Still there, still there, still there. Our race leader rolls it over. David Allen going to go to the point. Diego going to be in the two. Easy, guys. Easy. So with that collision, I believe that is Joseph that's going to jump out of that number two slot. So two, three, and four down the straightaway right now. Coming across the line. Eastridge stuffs it in the pipe. So now it's Joseph and Diego battling out for that second transfer slot. Coming over the tabletop now. Race leader David Allen. He's coming into the spine back. Could be coming up on Rick Shannon. Down the straightaway. Diego, Joseph, and Joe Eastridge. Down the straightaway they go. Diego gets it all sorts of wrong. Joseph going to go to the two. 
Joe Eastridge going to go to the three. Diego down to the four through that sweeper. Gavin in the side. Not going to work out, though. Diego going to get stuck on the pipe. Joseph, Joe, and Diego, two, three, and four, battling for that transfer slot. Diego tries to make a move to the inside. Not able to do anything just yet. Watch the spine back. Watch the spine back. Go wide, go wide, go wide. All clear, all clear. So David is going to be your race leader as he comes through that closer right-hand sweeper into the wagon wheel. He's that red and black number 10 on the side of his car. Double and double. Joseph, Joe, and Diego, double and double. So Rick Shannon, two, three, and four will be coming up on you shortly. Obviously, just you know, you don't have to move over yet. Just when they get to you. Just figure I'd give you the heads up. And it looks like we got a pretty good race going on here. Race leader into the rhythm chicane. So Rick, you are going to be battling Jason, but you do have a car number two coming up on you. So Jason and Rick, that will be car number two coming up on you. Thank you very much, Rick. Oh, he stuffs it in the pipe. It's going to let Diego start making up a little bit of time here. But Diego, he rolls it over. He's going to need a marginal. So Joseph going to have plenty of breathing room now. It is David Allen and Joseph DeGrolama, one and two. Number two coming through that rhythm chicane, one exiting the doubles. Race leader into the spine back. We got 210 to go, 210 to go. Down the straightaway. Almost, almost goes wrong. Two minutes left to go, two minutes left to go. Two-wheel drive, modified left. buggy, A main number one. You guys are up next. You guys should be in or through tech. Man at 45, minute 45. David, Joseph, Diego, Rick, Joe, Jason, Rick, Shannon, Bryce, and Dwight. Your running order. David Allen, your race leader, is that red and black. Oh, he gets it wrong. He's going to have a good room to be able to get flipped back over. In the doubles, guys. In the doubles. Just caution in the doubles. Marshall's still there. Marshall's still there. All clear. Minute 10 to go. Minute 10 to go. David Allen down the straightaway. Crossing the line now over that front double. Joseph now over that front double. That is one and two. Diego more than a straightaway back. Separation time is going to be 7.1. 40 seconds to go, guys. 40 seconds to go. All right, looks like we got a, a good group in coming out to watch that two-wheel drive mod main. Those guys are up next. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds to go. Watch the rhythm chicane. Watch the rhythm chicane. Marshall's there. And we are clear. Three, two, and one. With that running out on clock, right done. David Allen and Joseph will get those Jason transfer Ranger slots. Done. They just have to finish this lap. Diego Actually, they don't even have to done. finish this lap. They will transfer. They're just fighting for who's starting Joe where. Eastridge done. As you cross the line, you will be done. As you Rick cross the line, you will be done. Rick David gets done. it wrong. Joseph going to make the move. He's done. Oh, but David. Oh, holy cow. David Allen done. Joseph DeGiro gives him the done. wheel in the final turn. That is a race. So David and Joseph will get your transfer slots. Blowers, make sure completed. you blow. We've got a very important race coming up here. This is our A main. So David and Joseph, if you guys want to go get batteries on charge. Uh, I do have seven marshals still. 
So David. Thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to be sure to share, like, and subscribe, guys. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. As it looks like we're going into the first A1 of two-wheel drive modified buggy. So this should be a good one. Two-wheel drive modified buggy. Looking to be a fun one. Our lighting's messing with us a little bit. All right, guys, let's get in those guesses. Top three, top three, top three in order. Top three in order, top three in order. Michael and Mike, your guys are good. Let's get top three in order for your guesses. Can't do one, two, three. You cannot do one, two, three. Rudy already has that one. Top three in order. Top three in order. Top three in order. For race number seven. Top three in order. And I'll have to limit it like two shirts, so it can't be like seven people win. They'll kill me. So a lot of guys have like three one two one three two. So I'll take the top ones that I see. So if you see anybody else with your guess, you might want to change it. Let's get in those guesses. Top three, top three in order. As we get this one started. I don't have a check from Jeffrey Kaufman. All good. All right. Get our little video going down here. I believe this is a field dominated by all TLRs and Associateds. I think those are the only two brands being represented right now. A couple different tire brands. All righty. This is a main number one two-wheel drive modified after three rounds of qualifying yesterday. Dakota Fend takes the top honors. We have drivers. We have our marshals. You guys know the gig. We're going live on the tone in less than five. And we're off and rolling here. Dakota Fend leading us around. Start nice and smooth. These guys super patient with one another. Beautiful. That's what we like to see into the wagon wheel for the very first time. It is Dakota Fenn, Cole Tollard, Lee Setzer, Dustin Evans, Aaron Kaufman. Breaking away already top five. A little bit of, of a gap forming straight off the bat there. Dakota Fenn, our race leader. He's coming down the grid right now into that final chicane over the line. He's starting to try and make a gap for himself. Tollard, though, feeling pressure from Setzer, who's got pressure from Evans and Kaufman. They're coming in to that rhythm chicane. Once again, Carl Tollard gets it mixed up, but Setzer gets the worst end of that deal. Contact there. Setzer's going to drop way down the order. Sat's going to put the good defend. Cole Tollard, Kaufman now to the three. Evans to the four. Brenton, five. Rona, Setzer, Sturgeon, and Smith. Ray Slater, Dakota Fend through the wagon wheel. Cole Toller just behind him. Both nice and smooth. Oh, Toller gets it wrong, but he luckily able to save it. That pipe sits a little bit lower than the track, so he doesn't get caught on it. Go to defend your race leader into the spine back. Cole Tollard in that number two slot, trying to make something happen here. Kaufman in the three, so it goes TLR associated, TLR associated, associated. Through that wagon wheel once again. Your race leader, watch the front double, watch the front double, guys. Front double, front double. All almost clear, almost clear, now clear. They go defend your race leader, Cole Tollard, in that number two slot. They're in that short shoot straight away over the spine back. Nice and smooth by both. Dakota Fend, he's coming down and about to cross the line now. 
It is a 24-4 Tollard going to run a 25-4. So a second separation, a little mistake there out of Tollard. Bend Tollard now going to feel a little bit of pressure maybe from Kaufman, but Kaufman gets it just a hair wrong there. So these guys separating out a little bit. Three minutes, three minutes on the clock. It is a five-minute sprint. Kaufman gets it wrong. Setzer going to be right on the back door now. Down the straightaway we go. Setzer and Kaufman. Setzer tries it out to the inside. Tags the pipe. Two minutes and 40 seconds. 2.40 to go. Fend, Tollard, Kaufman, and Setzer. One, two, three, and four. We got Evans in the five. Rona, six. Looks like that is Sturgeon in the seven. Brinton, 8, Smith, 9. Dakota Fend. On with Dakota Fend. Nice On with Dakota Fend. Smooth. Though with that tone went off, he hasn't blinked since. Driving super smooth on that pipe. No mistakes. We're running order going to be Dakota, Cole, Aaron, Lee, Dustin, Jason, Emerson, Will, and Tommy. Lee trying to catch up to Coffin here. Down the straightaway they go. Coffin, he's going to come across. He's going to run a 24-4. Sets are a 24-7. So that is going to stretch out a little bit. Evans trying to get back into the fight here. He runs a 24-1. Through the doubles. Coffin and Sets are over the roller. Evans just a little bit back. We'll see if he can make up that time. Only a minute and a half to go. Dakota Fend, your race leader he is over those rhythm chicane. Into the double double Setzer now catching up 25 flat for Kaufman 24 3 for Setzer into the wagon wheel We've got a minute and a half to go Can Setzer put the moves on Kaufman? He's right on the back door They are headed to that roller into the switchback so Tommy that'll be the battle coming up on you here in just a moment Setzer gets it wrong. He's gonna roll onto his lid Kaufman breathing show bell what a marshal, but Evans he's gonna tag the pipe so everything going to balance back left. out to the way that it was. These guys spreading themselves out. Ooh, Fenn going to get it wrong. Tollard not close enough to make anything happen. 45 to go, 45 to go. That's the first mistake out of Fenn this entire race. Transponder 8751875. 35 to go, 35 to go. Evans. Pretty close here on Setzer with 30 seconds left to go. We'll see how this works out. Kaufman with a mistake. This could be a final Rochambeau between three, four, and five. Down that short shoot. Straight away they go. <clears throat> Down straight away is Kaufman, Setzer, and Evans. There is 13 seconds left on the clock. It's all going to come down to this final lap here. Kaufman with the advantage. He's got track position. Into that rhythm chicane. Smooth, smooth, and smooth. A little bit rougher there for Evans. Tommy Smith. Coppin looking to hang on to it. Time totally expired done. on the master clock. Keep on driving until you cross that line. Coffin through that spine back again. Sets it with a mistake. Evans right on his back door. Who's got the bigger motor down the straightaway? Aaron Looks like Coffin. Setzer is Lee Setzer done. Gonna hang on. He is Dustin no, Aaron no, he's done. not. Evans is gonna snag it. It updated late on my screen. Evans Jason is going to take done. the number four. Dakota Fenn done. So Dakota Fenn Sturgeon takes done. the win. Tollard All in the two. Kaufman finished. three. Evans four. Setzer in the five. Rona, Sturgeon, Brinton, and Smith. Job out there, Dakota. Car looking good, man, and uh, seemingly kind of worked out those bugs you kind of had yesterday. Yeah, we made some progress after Q3. I uh, got a little bit more grip in the car. It was really just a tire sauce thing. I had tried it uh, before qualifying and went with a different tire sauce when the track was wet and it was better. And then when the track dries out and gets grooved up, we go back to what we were running before. So figured that out, and our car was really good. Had one little bobble there, just got a little bit loose there before the line. Um, that's probably the loosest spot of the track, but because that car was good, easy to drive, and just try to stay consistent. Do you feel that there's a difference from the beginning of the race to the end of the race? I think so a little bit, yeah, as the tire sauce wears off. Uh, I think it definitely gets a little bit looser. So just try to put my head down in the beginning, get a gap, and then cruise the last minute or so. Are you guys uh, heating up the tires as well? Uh, no, not heating, just with the silvers. They're a little sensitive to heat. Uh, we're definitely getting as much sauce in as we can. And as soon as we move to slicks, we've all been just running the same set the whole time just to get them softer and softer. You got it. Best of luck. Thank you.
All right, guys. Get those guesses in. Get those guesses in. Top three. Top three. Get those guesses in. Top three. Top three. I think the order was one, two, five for the last one. Nobody got it. Get those guesses in. Get those guesses in. Top three. Top three. All right, so it's going to be Don Hillard, one, Andrew DiRolamo, two, Roger Holmes, three, Lord Dylan Seville in the four, Rich Clark, five, Diego Brent Morgan, Quintana. six, Kite Worley, seven, Joe Eastridge, eight, Diego Quintana, nine, and David Glackalone in the ten. Yeah, Diego, you'll be in the nine. Nice. All right, looks like we've got our marshals. We've got some drivers. Let's have a nice, clean start. This is our next A main on the list here. We're going live on the tone in less than five. And we're off and rolling nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Easy in the back, guys. Don Hillard going to be leading us around here. Andrew and Roger. Dylan Seville, unfortunate luck there. Watch the doubles. All clear. Don, Andrew, Roger. One, two, and three. And then it looks like it's going to be Brent, Diego, Kite, Dylan, Joe, Rich, and that is going to be David. One, two, and three through those tables. Over the road they go. Don Hillard in control of this one. Andrew and Roger. Dylan Seville, he makes his way back up through the field into that number four position. Five fifty-five to go. Five fifty-five to go. Don Hillard, your race leader. Andrew, not too far behind him here. One, two, and three, breaking away. Dylan Seville all by himself in that number four slot. Then we've got five, six, seven, and eight. And nine, I think, maybe. All together here, coming through those doubles. Already four minutes and ten seconds left to go on that master clock. Don Hillard, your race leader. Andrew DiGrolamo in the two. He's all over the back door. Ooh, tags the pipe just a little bit. Luckily bounces straight off. No issue there. But he does get tagged on the rhythm chicane. This is going to put Roger into the fight now for that number two slot. Race leader coming in that short shoot chicane. Or sorry, short shoot straight away over the spot. Down. The straightaway he goes. Watch the loop, watch the loop, watch the loop, watch the loop, watch the loop. One, two, and three. Make it by. A nice and smooth. Three minutes and 20 seconds left to go. Three minutes and 20 left to go. Don Hillard, you are race leader with a rear view mirror full of Andrew DiGrolamo. They're down the straightaway. 
in to the loop now. Crossing that front double. This is for all the beans, all the marbles. Through that wagon wheel they go. In to that rhythm chicane. One, two, and three. Nose to tail. Through the doubles. Don trying to separate himself out a little bit here. Over the roller goes Don, Andrew, and Roger in that short shoot straightaway. Through the spine back they go. Down the grid once again. Don separated himself out, but Mr. Andrew, total rearview mirror filled by the TLR of Roger Holmes. He's trying to make that move. Through the wagon wheel they go. Any mistake out of Andrew, Roger will be there. Through that rhythm chicane they go. One, two, and three. Nice and smooth. Andrew closing back in on Don here. So this is going to be a fight till the very last lap. So, Rich, that'll be the battle for the lead. One, two, and three all there. Thank you very much, sir. It is much appreciated. Two minutes and 20 seconds left to go. Two minutes and 20. Don, Andrew, Roger with that front double through that sweeper into the wagon wheel once again. Andrew now on the back wing of Don. He's made a gap between himself and Roger. He's going to make a play for the race win. We've got two minutes left to go. Two minutes two left minutes to go left. through the, that, the short shoot straightaway into the spine back. They go. Watch at the loop, guys. Watch at the loop, guys. All right, we are all clear. One and two coming in. That sweeper now back into the wagon wheel. Don nice and smooth. Andrew nice and smooth. Neither of them skipping a beat here. Over that 90. Double and double. So, Dylan, that'll be number three coming up on you. Please give him a little bit of room. Thank you very much. Eastridge, same thing. That'll be one, two, and three shortly to follow. Down the straightaway they go. One and two, three. Just a little ways back. Crossing the line, one minute, 20 to go. 27-6 for Don, 27-8 for Andrew, 27-5 for Roger. He wants back in this fight. One minute, 10 seconds, one minute, 10 seconds left to go. Don Hillard, Andrew, and Roger. Watch that short shoot straight away. Watch that straight away. Watch that straight away. All clear, all clear, all clear. One, one two, and left. three will be shortly to follow. Thank you very much, Mr. Kite. It is much appreciated. 55 left to go on that master clock, 55. Through that sweeper once again. Our number three is going to get stuck on the pipe. So now it is a two-horse race. Rear motor versus mid motor. TLR versus, I believe, an associated. Coming over that roller. Through the switchbacks. Don misses a beat there. But he gets back inside the racing line quick enough to block off that door. Andrew fighting hard. There's 30 seconds left. They're going to go for two more laps as they cross the line here. They might actually only make it by for this one. They crossed right at the 26, 27 mark. So this could be the final lap. They're coming through the rhythm chicane. In to the doubles. Hillard leading this one out, trying to take the win at INS. All contact there. All good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Three seconds left to go. They're definitely not making it now. Down the straightaway for the final time. Don Hillard. One final turn to make. Can he get it done? Yes, he Don can. Don Hill are going to take Andrew the win. Charlo Andrew DiGrolamo in the two. And Roger, Roger in the three. Start. As you cross the Mr. line, World you will be finished. Dutch. As you cross the line, you will be finished. Transponder 9706925. Still a couple more cars to finish up. Still some more live cars. Rich Clark done. David Glacalone done. Joe Eastridge done. Alrighty, so I do have a quick... Till the end there, Don, how does it feel, man? Anybody you want to thank out there? Uh, honestly, just all the guys who come out here every single day and support the track. Um, you know, that's what this is all about, is just to make sure that we have tracks to run on and, and everybody is, is great. It's a great group of, group of guys here at this place and, uh, and we always have fun, win or lose. Awesome, man. Well, great job out there. Congratulations. See you on the podium. Thank you very much.
All right, guys, let's get in a vote. No one, two, threes. No one, two, threes. That's Rudy's guess. And Rudy can't win, so that's how that one goes. Rudy doesn't like that he can't win. Also, where are we? Probably around the 20 mark, or we'll do spinning over the wheel for the waffle for the SC 6.2. If you guys want in on that, let us know. If you want in on the waffle, proceeds go to help in the live stream, and you can win a kit. So 20 bucks a slot, let us know. As we get this next one going for 17.5 Expert. Larry Tom says, Rudy should always win. Your boy Larry from Hobby Action. Larry says you should always win. Pay attention, Rudy. You got to film. Larry. Yeah, your buddy. Yeah. LT, the man. Oh, man. Rolling. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Beautiful stuff here. I was a little worried about the starts with that uh, chicane there. Tyler hooks an early move. He goes to the point. Schimmel in the two. So after the dominating qualifying runs from Schimmel yesterday, Hooks makes his move nice and early over that spine back and down the straight But he's going to stuff it into the pipe. Brennan Schimmel back to the point. So it's going to be Brennan Schimmel, Talon Henley, Nick Reppin, Ben Ellis, Damon Smith, Andrew Kaufman, Tyler Hooks, Jeff Stett, Travis Clark, and Dwayne Gutschel as your running order. So Tyler, an immense start there, but unfortunately not able to hold it. Schimmel is going to be our race leader, but he's feeling tons of pressure from Talon Henley as they come across the line now into the sweeper. Talon gets it a little bit wrong. Brennan going to have a little bit of breathing space here. This is a five-minute sprint race. There are three A mains for these guys. Double, double. Ah, oh, Schimmel gets it wrong. Talon goes by. Nick goes by. And Ben goes by. So he's going to drop three positions there. All right. Talon Henley from Hoosier RC Hobbyplex in the lead. Talon's actually running that Featherlight system in his car. So just the diff right now. So he's got that mod Featherlight diff in there. 28% reduction in weight as well as the brass rear diff inserts. So, And then in second, Nick Reppin, another Hoosier RC Hobbyplex driver, one and two right now. Brennan in third. And then in fourth is going to be Ben Ellis. But let's see what Talon can do, but... And those two are teammates and good friends, one and two, so I'm sure he's going to be trying to hold off Schimmel as they go on to the straightaway. Talon followed by Reppin and Schimmel coming around. Talon gets it wrong there. There goes Reppin, Schimmel in the three, so let's see what happens. Schimmel definitely super fast all weekend. Oh, nice jump pass. Oh, Talon, nice on the inside right there. Nice moves. They, they, the Hoosier guys seemingly found some speed. Now Reppin and Hanley hopefully don't take each other out. These guys are good friends. Hopefully it doesn't cause them an issue. Oh, Talon has a major issue. And Brendan goes by. Two minutes to go. Dominating runs from Brendan Schimmel, but it's coming down to the mains. The important races of the entire weekend, and Nick is in control as he comes through the wagon wheel into that rhythm chicane. Schimmel with a mistake. Nick able to make a couple breaths. That is your race leader coming over the race roller in the back. Into that short straightaway. Schimmel not too far back, but he's got a mirror full of Talon Henley. Two and three coming down the grid now. They're going to be coming up on, it looks like Damon Smith. Don't have to move yet. Just when they get up to you, you've still got some time. 
Nick Rappin, your race leader, coming through those 90s. Aubrey gets it wrong in the doubles. Schimmel in the two. Talon in the three. So Schimmel now looking to take that number one once again. Nick a little wide there on the spine back. Schimmel now all over that rear view wing. One more minute to go. One, one minute more left. minute to go. Nick in control. He's just got to keep it on all fours and make that car 11 foot wide. They're coming through the rhythm chicane. Almost a hick of mick ups there. And to the switchbacks. Oh. Thank you, Brennan. Very good, very good. So that is going to put Talon now to the race lead. Nick to the two, and Schimmel in the three. There's 40 seconds left to go. Talon, a blessing right there as he comes over that front double, through that sweeper, into the wagon wheel. Two and three, nose to tail. Talon, a little bit of breathing area. He goes on two wheels. Schimmel puts quite a move there on Nick, coming through that rhythm chicane. Now all over the back door of Talon. There's 15 seconds left to go. They've got one final lap to go. They're down the grid and cross the line. There is seven seconds. Nick gets it wrong. So it's going to be Talon and Brennan on the final lap. Can Talon hang on to it? Schimmel looking for something here. Can he get it done? Gets it a little mixed up there in the rhythm chicane. They're coming through the doubles over that sweeper into the roller. Through the switchbacks, down that short straightaway, and to his fine back, Talon looking good. He's got just a couple more Travis moves to Clark make. Done. He's down the straightaway, and he's going to... Oh, Schimmel almost tries Dylan to get it done, done doing an overtop pass, but he's done. not able to hang on to it, and Talon Henley going to take done. the win in a main All number one. Brennan Schimmel, two. Nick Reppin in the three. That would what have been a run there for right you, there. Talent. Dude, right place, right time when um, I believe Brennan ended up taking out Nick there. He waited for him. It. You went but by and tried the sky pass there at the end. I can see you up here. You were shaking. And, uh, man, car looked great out there. Anything uh, can and really will happen. Right just a couple quick changes. And if the I get car Seth Hardison to the booth, I just got to grab my car. It looked good out there, man. I think you're yeah, using some mod products on there as well, the diff and the Boys diff inserts. And, uh, dude, it looks great out there. Congratulations. It, it was carrying great speed through corners. Gave me all I could ask for. Awesome, man. Well, congratulations. Anybody want to thank out there? Same people, my parents and Hoosier RC. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so proud of you. Hold on the track. Hold on track.
going to the bottom of the field. Oh, we have a man stuck on the tabletop. That's the whole field going by. Joe Spiegel leading us around. Looks like Roger got over in that number two slot with that orange buggy, followed by Andrew. Oh, the spine is collecting all kinds of cars. Spiegel, Roger, and Andrew leading us around through the wagon wheel and up over to the tabletop. Those are our top three. They have a bit of a space. Then we got Brian, David, and Seville. Seville making a move into a forward position, but our top three coming down the straight, just missing the marshal. Across the double, all three of them go through the wagon wheel. It is going to be a race of least mistakes. Consistency wins. Joe Spiegel getting through the switch back onto the spine. Down the left side, gaining ground, putting a gap in over the front double, followed by Roger, who is holding off Andrew at the point. Oh, Spiggs gets it wrong and gives it up to Roger and Andrew. Roger now commanding with the orange buggy through the double-double. He's out to the back and up over the roller. Andrew being challenged now by Joe Spiegel. Spiegel definitely faster if he just can keep it all on fours. Keep those mistakes. Oh, Roger makes a terrible mistake and flips it all over. Spiggs gets that spot. Oh, he's making a pass. Oh, and Andrew flips him. It's a tick of a problem, but, oh, thank you very much. That is awesome sportsmanship right there. Spigs in the two, Roger in the one. Amazing sportsmanship at the top of the field. Now we got Roger in the orange buggy through the spine. Now they're on the back left corner coming down the straight. They all threw the Queen's Gambit together. The three of these guys way ahead of the field. They're coming up on some traffic when this orange buggy collects you in their rear view mirror. Please give him some space. In fact, the buggy just crashes and lets all three of them by. Roger getting a little squirrely, but he holds on to that number one spot. Through the spline they go. Spigs getting the inside of Andrew as I come down the straight. Roger trying to, oh, Roger gets squirrely and lets Spig back into the first place. Andrew in the second. Roger in the third. Please don't let anything happen to those three guys. They are just battling it out from the very beginning. Out to the left side, right side corner, up over the roller. Please know that those three, oh, Roger gets collected in a crash. It's terrible. Now he's back a second. Spigs and Andrew up over the front double. We got three minutes in, 48 seconds left. So it's just about halfway. Oh, Spigs makes a bit of a squirrel move there, but he holds on to it. Andrew can't capitalize quite yet. Spigs through the switch back. Up over the spine, Andrew right behind him, Roger not far behind. Down the right side, they come, left side they come, through the Queen's Gambit successfully. Over onto the right side, into the wagon wheel, onto the tabletop. Nice chicane move there by Spigs, keeping it on all fours, holding Andrew off. Andrew's all in the rear view mirror there, through the spine. Down the left, right side, I mean left straight, up over the front double. Now they've got a gap to themselves. Roger is about a turn and a half back, being chased by lap traffic. Please know if you are lap traffic, do not interfere the guy that's a lap ahead of you, please, unless he makes a terrible mistake. Our leader up over the line. Andrew right behind him. Oh, Spigs lets Andrew by. Uh, maybe a mistake I didn't see happen. Must have been an, another example of great sportsmanship in this Indy class. Or, yeah, Indy. Rogers, the orange buggy, he's hoping to get back in this game. Jacob, please be careful. Don't hit number three. He's a lap ahead. Two minutes left. All right. Andrew over the spine. 
He has about a second, it looks like, over Spiggs. Maybe a tick more. Up over the front double they go. It is a battle raging. One, two, and three. Not far behind each other. One small mistake. Watch. The leaders are coming. Oh, nice sportsmanship there. Letting two and three by. Awesome awareness. Andrew gets stuck on the pipe. Only gives away a half a second. Not enough for Spigs to capitalize. Making the turn through the infield over the tabletop. Our leader out to the back over the roller. Roger taking that number two spot, looks like, from Spiggs. Not sure why Spiggs went wide, but he did. Now Roger's got it. Andrew, oops. Roger looks like he's making time on Andrew. Oh, no, we got, ooh. Yeah, that looks like David. Oh, yeah, Andrew's out to the back. Roger still in the number two spot. Up over the spine, our leader crossing the line now, up over the double. When you see that purple and pink buggy coming up on you, please give him a tick of space. Our orange buggy is several turns back. And then Spiggs is in the three, yet several turns back from that with only 13 seconds. So it looks like this is set if no one makes a mistake in the top three. Oh, Spiggs makes a mistake in the top three. Roger Holmes. Doug. All right, Roger captured at the line. So Andrew is on a victory lap right here. David Glake alone done. Joe Spiegel done. Brian Cothran done. Joseph DeGiro Dylan Seville in the four. Jacob Allen done. Mr. Worldwide done. David and Allen Andrew done. capturing that spot. Andrew here comes DeGiro Eddie. Done. And he's finished. Eddie Henley done. All Good drivers racing, are finished. guys. Good racing right there. Oh, he's got him. The race is complete. Right there. Awesome job out there, Andrew Carr. Look great, man. How does it feel? Uh, it feels pretty good. I've been uh, struggling for traction all weekend, and I uh, finally figured it out today. So oh, last day it all came around. Getting blown uh, off. Excited I was able to hold Amy, them off. Looked like they made a couple of mistakes, but full drive really pleased with mod the buggy Congratulations, man. Anybody want to thank out there? Uh, you know what? I just want to thank my brother. He got me back in RC uh, about a year ago. And uh, my wife who lets me come race whenever I want. Congratulations. With that being said, be aware. There's some very, very fast guys in this heat. Lee Setzer, Dakota Vend, Cole Tollard. So track is not open Aaron yet, guys. Hoffman. Track is not open just yet. Tommy Smith. Need all my marshals out there. Looks like we've got just two more blowers going, one more going. All right, use caution as marshals go out, but track is open. Track is open. I thought that was an arm. I heard the plastic. I thought. All righty, guys. Get in those guesses. Top three, top three. Your chance to win. Your chance to win a J Concepts t-shirt. Also, if you guys want in on the waffle, by in about nine races, we're going to do the live spin for the waffle. So if you guys want to try and win your chance at an SC 6.2, and support the live stream, let us know. All righty, guys. A1 of four-wheel drive buggy. We had an exciting A1 of two-wheel drive mod buggy, and there's been some exciting races all day long. Let's get in those top three guesses. Nothing. Can't do one, two, three. That's Rudy Rico's same guess every time. So, And he can never win, So it's, uh, but he does guess that. All righty, guys. Let's get it going. Enjoy the racing as we get this one started. Two-wheel drive mod class just ran, and now we are getting into our four-wheel drive Modified 
A main. Looks like we've got all of our drivers, we've got all of our marshals in position here. We're going to set to go on the sound of the tone in less than five. We're off and rolling here to Code Defend. Leading us out, Tollard, Evans, Setzer, Kaufman, Hooks, Hallbaker, Smith, Sunderland, and Burcham. Fend making quick work already. He's trying to separate himself out here in the front. Tollard defending from S Evans and Setzer. Kaufman, Hallbaker. Oh, Hallbaker going to suffer in the pipe. He's going to collect hooks with him. Go defend your race leader, Cole Tollard, in the two. Evans and Setzer and Kaufman breaking away from the field here. Coming into the doubles. Fend over the roller into the switchbacks. With the pack to follow over that spine back. And down the straightaway he goes. Tyler, Evans, and Setzer and Kaufman. Nose to tail right now. Coming across the loop. It is the TLR of Dakota Fenn on those JC tires. Followed by the associate of Cole Todd. Tyler gets it wrong. He's going to go down three positions there. That's going to move him into the five slot now. Dakota Fenn down the straightaway coming up on Chris. Thank you very much, sir. Evans, Setzer, and Kaufman close to follow. Dakota Fenn, your race leader. Separating himself out here. Evans, Setzer, and Kaufman. Two, three, and four. Fenn right now with a straightaway lead on Evans who has just a little bit on Setzer. One full second is the separation from Evans to Setzer at the moment. And that rhythm chicane, Evans, Setzer, and Kaufman. Ah, oh, Setzer gets it wrong. He's going to drop down. Kaufman going to go up into that number three slot. But it is all about Dakota Fend, who's coming through that sweeper in <clears throat> into the wagon wheel here. Into that rhythm chicane. He's coming up on Mike Sunderland and Chris Bertram. So this is the leader coming up with you guys. Thank you very much. Two will be close to follow. That'll be Dustin Evans. So that blue, purple, and yellow is that number two car. So he's coming up on Smith and Sunderland. Give him some run on the straightaway. Thank you very much. Kaufman, Setzer, just behind them. So we'll have the full field coming up on some lap cars here. So just be aware. <clears throat> Coffin makes it through nice and smooth. One more to go. Setzer, ooh, a big whip there, but not able to save it. Tard goes down, or sorry, goes up into that number four slot. Dakota Fenn, your race leader. Dustin Evans in the two. Kaufman in the three. Then it's a little bit back to Tard and a little bit more to Setzer. 210 to go, 210 to go. This is only a main number one. Lots can change. And there's still two minutes. That is an eternity. For a sprint race. Two minutes left. Go to Fenn down the straightaway. He goes. Evans a little bit more than a straightaway back. Gets nice and close on that pipe. A little bit of a pucker moment there. But he is all good to go. Doesn't even touch it. <clears throat> Evans getting tough luck there. With a lap car who messed up in the double. So that's going to put Dakota, followed by Kaufman, Tollard, sets her all over the back door of Evans. Thank you very much. Thank you. One minute, ten to go. One minute, ten to go. Dakota Fend, your race leader, Aaron Kaufman, in the two, Tollard, three. Battle going to be Evans and Setzer coming over those doubles. Sets are all over the back door trying to make something happen, but Evans closing that door on every single turn through the spine backs. They go. One more minute left on the clock. They're over the front double. Into the sweeper. Coming around the wagon wheel. Into the rhythm chicane. No move there, but Evans gets it wrong. Sets are going to move up a spot. Tollard and Kaufman coming over the front double. So, Chris, that is... The battle there, thank you very much. Kaufman a stake, it looks like, while I was watching the battle between Evans and Setzer. So Tollard going to move into that number two slot now. Dakota is checked out at the moment. He's coming over the loop now. Way more than a straightaway lead. Sunderland, that'll be the battle for a second coming up on you. Thank you very much. So Dakota in no man's land right now. 
But that's exactly where he wants to be all by himself. 100% in control. Time is expired on the master clock. Dakota Fan, you are still alive. Tommy you Smith made done. it by. As you cross the line this time by, you will be done. Tommy Smith, Cole you are Tyler done. done. Cole Tyler, going to hang on Kaufman for that done. too. Kaufman, just Mike four Sunderland tenths done. back. No, sorry, three tenths back. Lee as done. you cross, you will be finished. As Justin you cross, Evans you will done. be finished. Garrett Hawbaker done. Dakota Fenn crosses the line. Done. He's going to take the win Dakota in eight main number one. The Chris only Bergen one done. to do 14 laps. So it goes Fenn, Tyler, Kaufman, Setzer, Evans, Hooks, Hallbaker, Smith, Sunderland, and Burcham. And I think I just heard some thunder. I think that's what that was. Awesome job, Dakota. A little early battle there from uh, Evans trying to come up, but uh, you just kept it smooth and consistent. And no, <laughs> not, nothing, to, nothing to do after that. Yeah, I was able just to uh, do my thing out there. Um, had a little bit of gap off the start. I was able to do a good first lap and then kind of just control, control the gap from there. Um, everyone else had some mistakes, and uh, fortunately I didn't. So the track, I think, is definitely going to weigh a little bit. Uh, it's raining outside, and the moisture's coming back up. So, uh, yeah, the grip's coming down. So we'll have to keep an eye on that for two-wheel drive and be extra careful, but uh, just trying to keep it consistent and not make the mistakes. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. Cool. Awesome job there, man. A little early issue there for you. You kind of hit the pipe up top, flipped over, battling back the entire time, and then, uh, you know, got up on Kaufman there and got that number two. Yeah, I wish I didn't have that bobble because I felt like I could catch Dakota. At the end, I was kind of eyeing up where he would be. Too bad I was just too far behind. But the uh, car was really good. Just uh, oh, hopefully stay smooth in both A2s and two-wheel and four-wheel. Awesome, man. Looking good out there. Any changes going into the next one? Uh, Probably not because I think the track's going to change with weather coming in. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that shakes it up. Good luck in your next uh, two mains. <laughs> Thank you. Aaron Kaufman. Dude, all weekend people talking about the guy kind of changing the game. You went to slicks. Everybody went to that. And, uh, dude, you've been wicked fast all weekend long. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, seating went well when I first tried the slicks, and they just worked. So everyone started going to slicks, so I fell off the pace a little bit, but was able to find some pace coming into the mains. Uh, the four-wheel felt surprisingly good. Got up to second when everyone made a mistake, but I unfortunately got stuck in the tube in the last lap or second to last lap and let Cole by. But, yeah, no, it was pretty good otherwise. Awesome, man. Anybody want to think out there? Uh, my family, my friends, for all the support, my sponsors for continually supporting me in my racing. Congratulations. Thank you. And, and Cialis, we got Alex Sturgeon on the one, Tommy Smith on the two, Jason Rona rolling out three, Jeffrey four, Rich five. Chris is it here, so we'll leave the six open out of respect for our elders. Uh, number seven is Rick, and rolling out number eight is Eddie. Good on quarter marshals. Drivers ready, quarter marshals ready. We're going 40 plus. A main number one on the sound of the tone. Take it easy. Oh, God. Panic squeezes through the first chicane. Nice weight. Alex leading him out. Jason Rona is hungry for that 40-plus modified win. Been racing his whole life just to race this class. Alex Sturgeon through the chicane right here in front of me. I've been calling it the Widowmaker. Through the lumpy turn. Over the center chicane jumpy thing. Alex pulling away a little bit, but Jason Rona is sticking to him like glue. Down the straightaway they go.
Jason Rona getting ever closer to Alex Sturgeon. On the inside, over the lump, and Jason's through. Nothing but experience there, guys. And these guys got plenty of it. So your top two is Jason Rona and Alex Sturgeon. They're coming down the center chicane now. Jason Rona running as hard as he can. Alex Sturgeon even running even harder. Little squid from Alex on the landing of that one. No big deal though, he's still right there. He's still in this one. Jason squeezing hard through that center straightaway. That's your first and second place cars. First and second place cars. One more. And there we go. Got one more for you. One more to pull over for. There you go. Back to racing. Halfway. Watch the center triply, doubly things, whatever they are. The jumpy chicane, watch the jumpy chicane. Two minutes left. Two minutes. Two minutes left. Oh, eh, it just tells you. This one's kind of a Alex and Rona show. They're probably up on the driver's stand talking about candy they don't make anymore and how much better leaded gas was. The winner of this race will earn will earn the opportunity to fix a broken lawnmower. That's the trophy, is a broken lawnmower, a lawnmower that won't start. Alex finding some speed, reeling Jason back in here. Coming up on one minute left to go. Oh no. No harm, no foul though. One minute left. We're back to racing. You know, it's no big deal if you don't win this one. There's two more. Two more. Jason Rona doing his thing out front. Alex Sturgeon. Run as hard as he can to reel him in. A little, little bobble there from Jason. It's going to let Alex get a little closer. We got 35 seconds left on the clock. They're going to make it around for one more after this one. Alex looking high, looking low. Still nowhere to go. Centery, doubly jumpy thing. Back double. Over the roller lump. And down the short straightaway. Tight on the needle turn. Alex even tighter though. Through the chicane here in front of me. Alex trying to set something up. Oh, cased it. This is the final lap. White flag. Rick Blunt done. Jeffrey Kaufman done. Run him to the line. Tommy Smith done. Rich Clark done. Jason that Rana was a done. pretty good race. Alex Sturgeon done. Awesome job out there, Jason. I saw you tiptoeing there at the end through that last corner, just making sure you got that win. And I noticed that there's a, it's going to be a triple-A main event for the 40-plus guys. Yeah, I mean, I think it... Uh, they did a little bit of the uh, two-wheel drive classes. They went with the triple main format for mod 17.5 and then 40 plus. So it's kind of cool. I mean, um, you know, they're back in the pits. They asked. They're like, hey, do you want to run triple main? I'm like, sure. Like, why not? You know, so we got plenty of time today. Um, you know, we got some long single mains and then we got these five-minute triple mains. So 
Um, it's been fun. I mean, it's nice racing with Alex as always. Uh, he's one of the best 40 plus guys out there. And, uh, yeah, it's fun to just, now that we're kind of got a little bit of familiarity with the track and the conditions, um, yeah, it's, it's been a really nice track to drive. And, uh, I think everybody would really like this track. No, nah, it's awesome out there. You look great. Um, with the conditions changing, we, uh, we heard that it's raining outside. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, I mean, I, th- I expect it kind of be this similar, but maybe since they water at night, I think the track's going to ha- stay this darker color, probably more, longer into the day so i think we'll probably see that and we're not going to see it lighten up probably quite as much but maybe towards the end i don't know but it still seems like it still works well so um i mean it's it's been good racing today so just hope it kind of stays that way thanks jason best of luck thanks awesome job out there alex you and jason were totally battling it out and uh i saw you got this this pro bobble where your car went upside down almost had like a like a battle bots flipper that went right back and uh you almost caught him there yeah my car was kind of loose and i wasn't expecting it so i was kind of being really careful and then it it came in a little bit so i was able to reel him back in and then um you know you don't want to run into the boss man so you just you just uh do what you can. I'm. It's fun. I wasn't expecting a three minute. Or I mean, a triple A mains when I came this morning. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Well, I don't have to worry about my battery dying in the middle of the race. All I got to do now is just uh, make sure my wheels stay on and and uh, try to get an A2 and force an A3. See what happens. All right, buddy. Best of luck out there. Yep, thanks. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background. That's the rain. So I don't know if you guys could hear that. That's the rain in the background there. All righty. Top three, top three guesses. Top three, top three guesses. Get this one going. And we're off. Successfully making through the Queen's Gambit without an error. So Emerson leading us around. Will and Ben. Try to learn their colors here real quick. Yes, TJ, you can win more than once. Not more than three times, though, only twice. Reasonably good job. All right, so our top three did not change. We've got Emerson, Will, and Ben in those top three slots. Nick looking to make a play. We got seven minutes to drive. One, two, and three. Four coming down the left side through the Queen's Gambit over the front double. Looks like Will made a tick of a mistake, but no one was there to capitalize. Up over the tabletop. Now they're into the double double. Looks like Nick is falling a tick back. Maybe Talon's going to take advantage of him in this back switchback. Emerson has a nice, comfortable position. Just keep it smooth, consistent, error-free. Which this layout definitely represents plenty of time to make errors. Maybe one of our most challenging layouts to date. We got Emerson, Will, Ben, Talon, and Nick in the top five. 
When our leader gets up on you, he's the red, white, and blue on the spot. Oh, he gets stuck on some traffic. That's going to allow Will to take over that two slot. Now Will is in the lead. He's in the point position. But Emerson is all over his back door, giving him no room to breathe. Oh, Emerson getting super tight in that chicane after the tabletop, and it's cost him a second or two. That's going to allow Will to have a little bit of breathing room now as he comes down the left side through the Queen's Gambit over, over the front double. Emerson behind him. Some lap traffic for our leaders. Ben Ellis holding on to that three spot. Our leader through the spine, coming down towards us through the Queen's Gambit, up over the front double. Thank you for allowing our leader to get by when he's lapping you. Appreciate that. Up, oh, looks like Emerson had another little mistake. Still have three minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Just now, halfway through, our leader crossing the line. Ben now taking over that two spot officially, officially in that crossing the line. Emerson right behind him, adding tons of pressure to him as they go through the double-double. Always peeking inside of every corner. Oh, he's stuck on the pipe. Our, our number three is stuck on the pipe. He's back on his way. Doesn't look like Talon was around to take advantage of him, but it does allow Ben a lot of room. Our leader, quite the lead. His only pressure is going to be getting by lap traffic in the next two and a half. Just needs to just keep it on all fours and keep it consistent as he crosses the line right here. 2.25 to go. Our leader in the wagon wheel onto the tabletop. Emerson coming with some pressure. Ben just trying to defend. He's stuck on the pipe. Up. Oh, oh, that's Two frustrating. You still have a minute and 52. Emerson is faster, but he is making a few more mistakes than the man in front of him. Ben holding on to that number two slides. Our leader's down the left side. Oh no, in the double mistake, letting Ben get even farther ahead. 130 to go. Ben being super consistent, holding on to that number two spot. Up over the double he goes. Our number two now coming into the wagon wheel. He's the blue and orange. Thank you for giving him a little space to get by. Our leader just cruising on a Sunday. Just a Sunday drive for him as he's around to the wagon wheel. One minute left. Uneventful. Cruise through the double double. Ben getting on two wheels, but holds it together. He's through the tabletop. Please don't run over him. 40 seconds to go. Talon, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that he wasn't lap traffic. He's in the two spot on that pass back there. Oh, that yellow and blue stadium truck in the double, double with 17 seconds to go is our number two. Holy cow. He's making it happen at the end of the race. He's down the left side. He's gonna make another lap. Here he goes, up over the double. Emerson Sturgeon done. Emerson stuck at ben the line. 
But it looks like Talon is going to get that number two slot. And he Will is on a victory lap for all intents and purposes as he crosses the line. Rich Clark done. Jerry Tobias done. Will Brinton done. William Huff done. Talon bringing game Smith at done. the end. To some Well, Will, were you shaking up there, my man? A little bit, yeah, at the beginning. I, I, I'm pretty happy right now. Congratulations, buddy. Anybody want to thank out there? Uh, team Associated, uh, J Concepts, Reedy, Factory Team, uh, Boom RC, and uh, the Hobbyplex. Awesome, man. Congrats. Thanks. Awesome job out there, Talon. Dude, got that extra lap there, grabbing yeah. second. He's showing out. I'm trying to make Hoosier look really good right now. Ah, looking good, man. You did the bump up. You got a A1 win in two-wheel. Now got a second in, in truck. And uh, best of luck, my man. Great job. Thank you very much. Alrighty, guys, getting into this next one. A1, a four-wheel drive expert. This should be interesting as well. A lot of good guys out there. yesterday please just don't hit our headline sponsor get those top three guesses in top three guesses guys get those top three guesses in for your chance to win a J Concepts t-shirt one two three already goes to Rudy that's his designated guess for all of them Nick Reppin, Talon Henley, Javon, Brennan Schimmel. So we're just looking for Tyler Hooks and Damon Smith. Damon we'll Smith. line them up here. Brennan Tyler Schimmel Hooks. on the one. Jacob Hardison on the two. Tyler Hooks on the three. Jeff on the four. Alex on the five. Nick on the six. Andrew on the seven. Javon on the eight. Damon on the nine. Talon on the 10. Talon going back to back after that exciting move. Okay. We got them lined up. We got all of our Marshall spots in place. We're going to go less than five on the tone. Okay, we're all off, going fast. Brennan Schimmel leading us around. Jacob, Tyler Hooks. Jeff in the pop four slots. Oh, let's see what kind of uh, lineup it ends up being. Yep, everybody in the top four are in their same position. Oh, we have a man stuck on the pipe. Terrible, terrible thing, Pipes. Our leader up over the roller in the switchback. Two, three, and four, like a train through the spine. Brennan Schipple leading us up, making a gap. Four-wheel drive buggy is fast. Falling along with two, three, and four right now. In second will be Hardison. In third will be Tyler Hooks. 
Hardison and Hooks. I think they just threw in that mod center drive puck system as well. Guys are loving it. Grab them on modspeedshop.com as they're coming around, splitting away from fourth place of Jeff and Alex Sturgeon in fifth. Battle for second and third. Ooh, Tyler Hooks goes wide there. Second and third up and over Schimmel. You can see him on the outside. Oh, Hardison gets it wrong. That's going to let Jeff Stat Stackowitz by. Jeff goes to the three, Hardison and Sturgeon. Coming around, that's going to be Hooks going to the two. Second, third, fourth, and fifth in camera view right now. Coming up over that double back right-hand side of the track. And it is pouring outside. I can hear it. So definitely going to keep a little bit more moisture in the track right now. I don't see any leaks, though, which is good. So it looks like Hardison's going to be looking inside, outside on Jeff. Coming up over the double. These guys are moving. Oh, something going wrong there. I didn't see exactly what happened. I just looked away for two seconds. Oh, just down the straightaway right now. Our race now between Alex and... Jeff, that is fourth and fifth on the track right now. No other battles. It looks like Schimmel is way gone right now. In the two, in the techno is going to be Tyler Hooks. Jacob Hardison comes by. There is on camera. That is Tyler Hooks in second. We'll go to third for Hardison. Hardison's going to be coming up over the double double right now. That's how far he's behind. Oh, and Hardison gets it wrong. I guess still your closest battle on the track is going to be Jeff and Alex. Coming around. Ooh, and Jeff just barely snagging it right there. Hardison and Jeff battling it out right now as we keep on that battle. Keeping them in camera view. It will be Hardison and Jeff. Hardison looking to snag a third for this round. One, three, and two. Looks like Sarah Neo... Mike see how this one ends up with 30 seconds left to go it is Brennan in the lead hooks in the two and Hardison in the three I think there might be two winners in this one, maybe three. All right, everybody's pretty spread out now. Jacob's by. Oh, man, and rain is really coming down outside. I can hear it. All right, they're basically ending on up here. It's going to be, I believe, one, three, and two. I think we got two or three winners for a shirt in that one. Comment in if you won. One, three, two. Awesome job out there, Brent. Dude, car looked amazing. He kind of just checked out and gone after that two-wheel drive run. I know you wanted a snake four-wheel. And, uh, dude, what are you going to do going into two-wheel? Uh, we don't really know. We're going to use uh, some of the info from four-wheel. We're going to figure it out, hopefully uh, get a little bit more pace again. Well, definitely, uh, you know, keep on this high of four-wheel going into two-wheel. And congratulations. We're looking forward to the battle. Thank you. You too. You got it. All 
I believe that Mike Gillard got a shirt. I think Neo got a shirt. And Sarah Kearney got a shirt. So you guys... Alrighty. We got a couple winners in that one. Also, guys, allow us about um, three to four weeks for delivery on the shirt as well, just so you know. As we get this A main short course going here. Top three, top three guesses. Top three, top three guesses for your chance to win a J-Concept shirt. In less than five. And we're off. Diltville leading us around here. Oh, a little bit of contact there. Lots of contact there. Easy. So it's going to be Dylan Seville leading us around here. Jared Tobias in the two. Also, just a reminder, guys, after race 16, there will be a 30-minute break after race 16. So that's next, at the conclusion of the next race. Dylan Seville, our race leader. Jared Tobias in the two. Looks like to be Joe Eastridge in that number three slot. They're coming through the wagon wheel. Up onto the tabletop. Into the 90. Double. And double for Dylan Deville, your race leader. Six oh five to go. Six oh five to go. Dylan, Jerry, Joe, Travis, Kite, Rick, William, Benny, Brent, DC, and Bryce. This is a single seven minute A main here. Deltaville, your race leader. Double and double. Jerry, he's out of the doubles now. Then it is Joe and Travis Kite. Five minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Leader coming down the grid now. And there's Jerry. He's coming across the line now. Dylan Deville, our race leader through the rhythm chicane. Jerry coming through the rhythm chicane. Quite a few cars on the track, but the long lap, so we shouldn't have too many issues with giant clusters. It looks like so far so good. Five minutes to go. Five minutes to go. Dylan, Jerry, Joe, Kite, Travis, Rick, William, Brent, Benny, DC, and Bryce. There was a pretty close battle on the track. It looked like these guys spreading out just a little bit. Still in a very close relative area of the track, but getting a little bit more distance between them. Dylan Seville, our race leader, being a great marshal there. So DC, that'll be your leader with you. And two just behind. That'll be number two. 4.15 to go, 4.15 to go. Deltaville, your race leader. And that pink and white over the roller. 
through the switchbacks in that short straightaway over the spine back and down the main straight now. Through that rhythm chicane comes one and two. Jerry just behind our race leader now. So Benny, that'll be one and two with you. Thank you very much. Deltaville, our race leader, 330. Battles coming through the middle. So DC, that'll be two and, or sorry, three and four with you. Same for you, Mr. Bryce, that'll be four. So Joe Eastridge, he's made it through the traffic. Kite, one more car to go. So Kite is that orange, white, and purple. That is our number four. He's trying to catch up to Joe Eastridge, who is our number three. Three minutes left to go. Three minutes left to go. Dylan Seville. Our race leader, he's coming over that 90. Double and double. He's got a little bit of a gap now to Jerry. 3.1 to be exact as of the line. Caution that switchback, caution switchback. All clear, all clear, all clear. Two minutes and 35 seconds left to go. Closes battle on track is going to be oh, easy there in the back, guys. Easy there in the back. Joe Eastridge, Kite Worley, and Travis Clark. Those guys working into the wagon wheels, Mr. Joe Eastridge. That is going to be your number three. Kite, he's through the wagon wheel, through the rhythm chicane now. Two minutes left. Dylan coming up on some traffic here. So, Rick, that'll be your race leader with you. Race leader coming to the spine back, guys. Race leader coming to the spine back. That's that white and pink. Pink and white. Trying to come across the line now. Can make it through? That is our race leader getting stuck with traffic there. Luckily, he is going to hang on to the race lead, but Jerry now significantly closer than what he was. One minute, 20 seconds. One minute, 20 Dylan over the roller and Jerry over the roller now. To that short straightaway into the spine back. Nice and smooth by both. Down the straightaway we come. One more minute to go. One more minute. Dylan Tavil just seems to left. hang on for a couple of laps. These guys are looking in the 28th to 30. So they might go for an extra one, but at least two laps, including this one. Jerry gets it wrong. That's going to let Dylan breathe a little bit more now. Get a little bit more into his comfort zone. Down the straightaway. 30 seconds left to go. 30 seconds left to go. There's Dylan across the line. 27 seconds. Dylan should make it by for one more, but Jerry will get caught at the line. So as long as Dylan doesn't do anything silly on this lap, he should be able to hang on to the race win. Jerry gets it wrong in that rhythm chicane. Allows Dylan even more comfort. Dylan now coming down the straightaway. Crossing the line with two seconds left to go. Keep on going, keep on going, guys. That is time on the Master Clock. DC, you are the first one finished. Everybody else is still alive. Everybody else is still alive. Tobias Dunn. William Huff Dunn. Brent Morgan Dunn. Rick Blunt Dunn. As you cross line, you will be finished. Dylan Seville Benny on his Wilson victory done. lap here. Joe Eastridge done. Mr. Worldwide done. Couple more to finish. Couple Bryce more to finish. Done. Easy, guys. Travis Easy. Clark, done. And Mike that is a race with Dylan Seville. Going to take finished. the win. Jerry Bias 2 and Joe Eastridge finishing up in the three. 
Great job out there, Mr. Seville. I hear Lord. Everybody's saying this. What's what's the story behind it? Uh, I was made an offer by Hardison back there, so took it up for it. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so yeah, it was only like 80% off, so, you know, I figured why not. <laughs> Most definitely. Well, looking good out there, man. Anybody want to thank out there? I uh, just want to thank uh, the Hardison family for the track here. They got me into racing, taught me everything I know about the hobby, and hope to go further from here. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. break after this race. There's a 30 minute break after this race. Alrighty guys, we're going to get into this next one. Let's get top three guesses, top three guesses, and then since we're having the break, we'll set it up for the waffle. So we'll set up the waffle as well. So if you guys want to get in on the SC6.2, we will, uh, we'll get that going, but we'll get last minute entries. I think we have about five spots left. Probably about five spots left. If you guys want in on the waffle. So 20 bucks could win you an SC6.2 and it helps us with the live stream. So those guys out there helps us with the live stream. So let us know if you want to get in on the waffle. See, you know what? James Elliott says waffle proceeds go to Matt letting Rudy out of his cage and letting him get some fresh air and fruit roll-ups. Look, here. Fruit roll-ups. He only gets the mini rolls, though. Rudy only gets the mini rolls, not the full size ones, just the little ones. Proceeds go to helping feed Rudy, AM, PM, $5 meals. Those are his favorite. And Waffle House All American Breakfast. Only water though, no orange juice. Right, Rudy? I said AM, PM, $5 meals. You get you get the fruit roll-ups mini rolls, not the full-size ones. <laughs> yeah, let me get it, he says. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get this one started. Enjoy enjoy the races. Wes Carr, how do I get in on the waffle? All right, Wes, just let me know how many positions you want. And a one-minute call, I'll, I'll put in uh, the information. Another lap you can. One lap. It is 100% optional. All right. Got transponder going in. So let's get these guys to the grid. Let's get these guys to the grid. Oh, he was trying to break your car, Lee. He almost dropped it. Emerson Sturgeon. <laughs> I mean, it did smack the pit lane. All right, are we all content with where we're sitting on the grid? Got the front three all angled in. All righty. So again, 30 minute break after this race. It's like we've got all my marshals, we've got all my drivers. Aiming number two, two wheel drive buggy going hot here on the sound of the tone. Less than five. And we're off. So Dakota Fan leading us around, he took A main number one.
All righty, we got Dakota Fenn in that number one slot. Coming down the straightaway, doing a little, little wheel stands down the straight. Toller, Setzer, Evans, and Kaufman. Coming around the wagon wheel is the battle. Toller and Setzer and Evans through those doubles. Dakota Fenn working on, checking it out. Took a main number one, wants to seal the deal with a main number two. Down the straightaway he comes, crossing the line and over the double. Tollard, Setzer, and Evans coming through that sweeper. They're in the wagon wheel. Those guys duking it out. Four, two, three, and four. Kaufman just behind him. Kaufman arguably in the best position here because if these guys get caught together, he can just sneak right on by. Tollard starting to gap out a little bit from Lee Setzer, who has a rear view mirror full of Dustin Evans. Through that wagon wheel they go. Setzer and Evans both very smooth through there. A little bit of a hop there. Adam Evans tries to go to the inside. Lee shuts that door. One of the most technical spots of the track. And Evans almost got that move done. Over the roller they go. Through the switchbacks. Down that short shoot straightaway into the spine. Making that bowl. And down the straightaway they go. Three and four. Now coming over that front double. Little whip action there. Adam Setzer. Into the wagon wheel. A little bit wide. Evans takes a peek. Still not there quite yet. Through that with the chicane. Through those doubles. Once again, bigger whip there out of Setzer. Showing off that chassis of that B6.4. A little clip there. I would consider that to be a racing incident, unfortunately. Two minutes and 45 seconds left to go. Setzer now with some clear air behind him. We're going to set his sights on Cole Tollard, who had a little bit of a squabble there coming over that roller. He is over the spine, and down the straightaway he goes. Tollard over that front double. Setzer over the front double. Ooh, Setzer sucking right up to the back door of Tollard now as they come into that rhythm chicane. Both make a mistake. It's going to even out. Here comes Kaufman. Almost getting that move done. Keeping it right on the rear wing of Lee Setzer. Nice and clean. Both drivers making a mistake at the exact same moment. Over the front double they go. Lee now going to have to defend once again. But he's got at least a little bit of room. Tags the pipe. He's going to drop back. Kaufman going to go to the three. Now Evans re-attacking on Setzer here. Into those doubles they go. Kaufman, Setzer. And Justin Evans into that short shoot straightaway over the spine. Nice and smooth by all three of them. They're running nose to tail. Battle coming down the straightaway and across the line. Evans pushes on the inside. Can he get it done? Setzer tries to close it off. He jumps across the track, but he's not able to get it done. Grabs the pipe. So now it is going to be a two horse race. Kaufman and Evans. Evans up the inside with a mistake from Kaufman. This lap going perfectly for Mr. Dawson Evans right now. Makes up two positions in the span of less than three quarters of the lap. Over that double goes three and four. Tollard still with some breathing room. One more minute to go. Tollard safe, but not all the way just yet. One minute left. Through that short shoot straight away they go. Oh, let's find back. Evans just behind him. Down straight away they go. Little bit of separation there. 45 seconds left to go. Does Evans have anything left in that gas tank to take over that number two spot? Tollard over the rhythm. And Evans into those doubles both nice and smooth. Evans putting in a 23-9 to Tollard's 24-7. He is going quick. He's now going to be on that rear wing of Cole Tollard. 25 seconds left on the clock. They're coming down the straightaway. I don't think they're going to make it for one more. This is going to be the final lap. If Evans got something to do, it's going to be in this lap here. They're through the wagon wheel into the rhythm chicane. Nice and smooth by Tollard. Evans gets it wrong. Luckily going to end up back on his wheels. And he's got tons of room, so he's not going to have to worry about losing that position. Still in the fight here. It's not over just yet. Two and one. Tollard could make a mistake in this final chicane here. He does not. He's going to cross the line for number two. Evans is going to come in the three. Justin Evans done. Keep on driving, guys. Keep on driving until your name is called and you cross that line. 
Dakota Fenn, he is going to lock it up here in A main number two. He wins A1. He wins A2. Dakota Fenn taking the overall here at the Spring Indoor National. Job out there, buddy. Dude, look good and uh, grabbing the overall. Yeah, those are the best my car's been, probably the most grip I've had. Um, I think some of the other guys tried some different tires, and I'm thinking it probably, probably didn't work out. So I just ch just uh, stayed with the trusty uh, silver smoothies, and uh, everything was good. So Awesome job out there, man. Now have to try and grab it in four-wheel. Yep, yeah, we have a small break here, get ready for an A2 of four-wheel and get some lunch, and we'll head out there and make it happen. Awesome job, buddy. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, well, much better run in this one, Cole. You know, weren't able to match the, the pace of Dakota in that one, but uh, held off Evans there at the end. Yeah, I uh, kind of went out on a gamble with the rain and that stuff. The track looked like it was getting pretty slimy, so I went out on a different compound than what I did in A1. I thought I could have something for Dakota, but uh, Dakota was just a better racer this weekend. His car was really good. I give him bet, or really good props. Just had nothing for him. <laughs> No, look good out there, though, man. Everybody's way fast, and uh, you're there, man. Congratulations. Anybody want to thank out there? Uh, all my sponsors have given me all these races. It's uh, been a real pleasure to just get around and just talk to guys, help people out. Uh, my family back at home, hi. And uh, just thanks for everyone for support and all the thank yous and everything. Congratulations. Thank you. All righty, guys. So looking good out there. Um, they're going to have a 30-minute break right now for the, basically, I think, for the guys going into the A2s, A3s here and uh, give them a little bit of a break and where they can get some lunch. Not so fast-paced. Um, we're going to get the waffle going right now for the SC 6.2 that you can see as over there. Right there. So the SC 6.2. That's right there on camera. Uh, if you guys want to get in on the waffle, just comment below. And um, like probably right below. Just comment in if you guys want to get in on the waffle. Courtesy of Team Associated and J Concepts. Helps with uh, basically getting us out here to these events. And um, also Rudy Rico here getting him, uh, getting him basically fruit roll-ups and AMPM $5 meals. So, um, no, it's a good time out here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the racing. If you want in on that, I think there's maybe five, six spots left. So um, we'll be doing the live wheel. Just give us a little bit of time. We have to set up the overlay and get it on there. So just stay tuned. We'll keep everything live um, so you guys don't miss any of the action. And, uh, yeah, stay on this channel. We'll get it going. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much appreciated. Thank you to jconcepts.net as well. Uh, for all their support bringing us out here as well as modspeedshop.com making sure we have all this equipment and everything uh, making it happen and being able to reinvest in that equipment um, so go on to modspeedshop.com go on to jconcepts.net and uh, grab some goodies on there for your race vehicles appreciate it guys
TQ and first. It's going to be quite a, quite the handful he's going to have here. So we're looking for Andrew and Roger for 17-5 trophy presentation. So number three was Roger Holmes. Looking for Roger Holmes. Roger's got multiple trophy presentations. Huh? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's Roger Holmes. Does anybody know Roger Holmes? Oh, you do? Okay. Brennan's going to get him on the phone. Bring all his cars, because he's got multiple presentations, Brennan. Oh, okay. Is he in the trailer with you? Is that? Oh, okay. Hey Dylan, is that door unlocked in case he decides to try to come through that door? Oh, okay. We're doing trophy presentation right there at the banner. Is that Roger? Yeah. So Roger was third in the 17-5 class. Regular paparazzi going on here. What do you want to do next? Stadium truck? 13.5, four wheel is next, okay. So that looks like that was Andrew, Roger, and Joe Spiegel for 13.5 Indy. TQ was Joe Spiegel. So Andrew took the first, Roger the third. Two and Joe Spiegel. Just getting a through a couple trophy presentations here, guys. We're going to be doing the, the waffle here. Wes Carr, we got you in. Let us know, guys, if you want to get in on the SC 6.2 Team Associated Waffle out here. Short course is next. So short course will be Dylan Seville with TQ and first. Double down, Dylan. Oh, look at that. That was an alliteration right there, just in case you wanted to know the grammar. And then we have Jerry on the two and Joe Eastridge on the three. getting mighty hard sounding.
up, right? So Stadium 12 will be Will Renton on the first place. But Emerson TQ, he has third. Talon is second. So TQ goes to Emerson. You're going to do the Emerson TQ pick first. those out there that is the rain that's coming down all right first place goes to will second place to talent third place to emerson for the next picture Super popular. <laughs> so that's trophy presentation for the Indy classes, stadium truck, and short course. So after this intermission, we will be going back to expert and mod classes. guys looks like we got that intermission okay so let's get this thing going we have let me try and shrink this here hopefully it's going to show me I'm gonna get uh, I don't know if anybody else wants in on the waffle, but we're going to get this one started. All right, that won't work. Nope. Don't mind me there. i got to get that up. All right. Okay. All right, guys. We have the spin right there. What we're going to do is we're going to shuffle it. So I'm going to shuffle it a couple times. No, it's adding. Okay, you guys will see it live that we are shuffling it. I had 
unclick somebody there. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right. I think everybody should be happy with that. We got you on there. We shuffled it many, many times. All right. We're going to spin it. All right, let's see who wins this one. This is the SC 6.2. Brian, let's see who's that, what's his full name? Brian Kiever, Brian Kiever winning that one. Brian Kiever going to win that one. Let's see if I can get the full on. Yep, so Brian Kiever, sorry, I just cropped it. Brian Kiever winning that one, guys. Thank you so much. Brian Kiever, you win the SC 6.2 waffle. As you guys can see, we mixed it up a bunch. We did the spin. So Brian Kiever... A win in that one. Let's see. I don't know how many entries Brian had there. I think he came in kind of near the end. Let me see. Brian Kiever. He had one. Two. So Brian Kiever bought two slots. And I think he was near... Yeah, he was one of our guys near the end. I think he was online. I want to say he messaged me on Facebook. Let me see here. I can sh even show you guys. Give me a second. So Brian Kiever winning that one. You can all see it on there. James Rodriguez almost getting it there. Brian Kiever winning that one. Awesome job, Brian Kiever. Congratulations. Thank you to jconcepts.net and Team Associated for helping us out, as well as all you guys. Everybody kind of in, and I think Brian Kiever, I think he got, yeah, he ended up getting like two positions there at the end. I think I have his message from him. Um Let's see if I can find it on my phone. I can show you guys. Yep, Brian Kiever. So I'll show you guys. It'll focus in. That's Brian Kiever. What? I don't know if they can see it. Yeah, that's Brian Kiever right there. Messaging. Yeah, I got the waffle. Can I get two spots? Brian Kiever, the guy that you messaged that said, hey, how many left in the waffle? Oh, you won? You won. Nice. I got two spots. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, the latest one there, guys. Yeah, focus. Yep, Brian Kiever. So the last guy saying thank you. He entered in. So Brian Kiever winning that one. Way cool. Way cool for Brian Kiever. Thank you so much. Much appreciated, guys. Where are we going for the drag racing event? What city? The drag racing event. Yeah. What drag racing event? No, we're doing we're doing slot car event. Oh, Compton. Compton. No, we're not going far. Yeah, we got a drag race we're covering in Compton. <laughs> we're, gonna to, we're gonna have to bring a gat, dude. We're gonna have to bring body armor. <laughs> I should have charged more to do coverage. What's my life worth? <laughs> Man, they got spammers on here. 
Spammers, spammers. Brian Kiever. Yeah. The guy that, like, he literally entered in at the very end today saying how many spots were left. That was pretty cool. Yeah, he can. Ixo facto, Kiever owes you a thank you. Because Rudy has access to the mod Facebook. He's like, hey, somebody messaged us on... Let me see here. Let me see how I can see you guys. He's like, somebody messaged us on uh, on Facebooks saying, hey, is there any spots left? And I was like, yes. Why, yes, there is. So he's going to be stoked. He's actually probably going to comment in right now. So what do you guys think about the racing out here? I think it's kind of taking everybody for a spin. Look. Right here. Rudy's disappointed, guys, that his fruit roll-ups. Why are you mad? Because they used to be like right here. I would say that that's um, it's probably Russia's fault. That's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. It's probably Russia's fault. Terrible. I know. It's disappointing, man. This is recessionary stuff. This is inflation, guys. It costs more and you get less. Terrible. So, but racing's pretty good out here. Brian Kiever, congratulations. He got that one. So... So he just commented in, saying, I've seen that. Thank you so much. So pretty cool. So everything's legit. Thank you again to you guys for getting on in. And uh, so 105. Okay, so it looks like in about seven minutes we're going to be uh, getting this one going. Um, so everybody's, uh, we did some podium presentations that guys saw, um, the rain for those guys kind of popping in, the rain came up, so a lot more moisture in the track though. I don't know if anything's really changing up. I think it's just keeping more moisture in the track from last night. Um, but, uh, there's been some good battles throughout and we're going to be going into, a lot of the A2s, A3s, and some of the, the A mains for the expert classes. So it should be, should be pretty good as we round out going into our last uh, eight races. So Rudy over here is getting cold. He's, he's, he's freezing over here. Is it still raining outside, Rudy? Go get your jacket. Go get your jacket. Why not? You're just going to tough it out? He don't need no jacket, is what he says. <laughs> you can't say that online, Rudy. Rudy's going to be saying some adult language. What? The key and pill skit? Which one's that one? Uh, yeah, I don't need no chair where he's a cholo. <laughs> that he goes to heaven. <laughs> he's sitting there like, I don't need no chair. <laughs> you guys go look that up on YouTube right now and then come back and watch us. The Key and Peel skit where he's like, I don't, he's a cholo. He's like, I don't need, I don't need that. That's for, um, I can't say the word. <laughs> I can't say the word. But Rudy's laughing over there. But basically he ends up getting shot and he's like, Psh, I don't need life. Um, <laughs> you guys can see it. It's pretty hilarious. It's funny. All right. Andrew Bishop chiming in. What's going on, Andrew? What's going on, Brent? How are you? We had... Uh, 
Brian Kiever win that kit. Thank you so much, Team Associated. And J Concepts for that. We greatly appreciate it. We were able to raise almost 500 bucks all together, guys. Which actually helps out. I had to buy a new bag, which was that one that you see behind you. That was $400. So you guys helped out with that. Bought us a meal for the night. So it helps out with uh, some extra expenses we didn't uh, think that we were going to have, but you need it to be able to cover these events. Now yeah, they ruined one of my bags, so unfortunate, but is what it is. What's going on, Brian Cross? How are you? All right, I'm got to take away that. That. Minutes. Minutes. Bam, J Concept shirt. So, should be good. We're getting everybody lined up. Marshals are coming out. I think we got everything dialed in here, guys. I want to say we're we're set. Sam, we are set. So, also, guys, what happened to our good friend, Big Buckarama? Rudy, where's your buddy, Big Buckarama? Rudy doesn't know. He don't know. So where's Big Buckarama? Anybody that has his actual phone number, tell him we miss him. He's always on the he's always on the feed. He's like a he's a permanent staple in all of our feeds and I'm sad that he's not here. He's like, yeah, he's like our original supporter. I feel there's a loss without him. I know we've had um We've had B.J. Williams, I think, in here. He's always commenting in. Wes Carr's been here a while. He's one of the names that I recognize. Who else on here? I think Riley's been around for a while. Larry Tom, obviously. So, yeah, we're missing some of our OG guys here. So we're we're missing some of our original dudes, usually tuning in. As we get into this next one, should be pretty good. Um, who? What was it last time? Who's in this? Oh, Schimmel. Oh, this one's actually won by Talon. If you guys go and check out that battle, it was like it was a like finish, like last lap super battle. If you guys want to rewind on YouTube, you can see it. Talon got it. Brandon Schimmel, um, he made an early race mistake. So we're going to see if Brandon, he's been pretty lights out all weekend long. Let's see if Talon, I know that uh, Tyler Hooks was very fast. Um to be able to possibly get it. Uh, so it should be, should be good. Should be a good battle. So it should be, should be a good, good battle going into this last one. So thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to share, like, subscribe. Special thanks to J Concepts again. The, all the adrenaline crew uh, out here, their awesome facility, and uh, looking forward to some RC racing as we finish up this event in Winchester, Virginia. I hope you guys like the giveaways and are enjoying the feed. So once again, uh, actually, guess right now, top three. So top three uh, positions. You can't do one, two, and three. It's got to be top three in, a, in another order. 
Um, that's Rudy's permanent guest. Hi, huh, Rudy. Isn't that your permanent guest? He can't hear me. He's deaf, guys. He's got, you see that ear, ear plug in? Right there. Can't hear anything. It's those Apple ear pods with noise cancellation. Terrible. All right, guys. Enjoy the feed. Thank you so much. Um, pretty cool out here. And it's cool that they're going to slicks. You can see them blowing the track. And um, they are going to slicks. And it's been pretty good. I think, it, think a lot of people were not thinking it was going to go to that. I think that's why I kind of might have hurt entry count slightly. As we get going into this one, enjoy, enjoy. We got Marshalls. We're going on the tone. Less than five. All right. Just remember, make the pass clean. Well, unless the guy in front of you hoses it all up. Oh, this is terrible. Oh man, stuck on the pipe in the back. The whole field rolls by him. So we got Brennan, Tyler, Ben Ellis in that three spot. Andrew in the four. Dwayne, Talon, Jeff, Nick. So unfortunate circumstance on that first lap. Oh, watch the table, table. Clear. Brennan Schimmel getting a gap going here early. Tyler Hooks chasing him with Ben in that three spot. Andrew in the four. Nick in the six. Talon in the five. So Brennan in the switch back to the far right. Up over the spine. Being chased by Tyler Hooks. Oh, we might have some interesting play for third coming up here. First and second over the double. So our leader in the far right switch back. Pretty comfortable lead now. Oh, and our number two getting it wrong. Allowing Ben to be on the back door of Tyler Hooks. Vying for that number two spot. Oh no, man stuck under the pipe. Getting the table tuck wrong. Tabletop. Brennan already threw another lap. Getting past lap traffic. That yellow and pink car is your leader. Give him a little bit of room. Watch the tabletop transition. Ben hanging on to number two, Talon now in that three slot. And Ben and Talon 
two and three in the wagon wheel. Ben's got that blue and orange. Talon's got that yellow and blue. Out to the back they go, up over the roller. Our, oh, looks like Ben stuck it on Two the pipe. Left. Brennan Schemmel just rolling it out through the tabletop. There goes Talon in the two, Ben in the three, but Nick is close behind. A lot of changes happen here close to the top of the race. Ben wanting to hold on to it, but Nick is vying for it, peeking inside to every turn. Tyler just waiting for them to make a mistake. Talon crossing the line with a little altercation with some traffic, but no one was there to take advantage of him. Oh, Ben getting it wrong. Nick goes by, and so does Tyler Hooks. Looks like Dwayne stuck under the pipe. One minute to go. One minute left. Our leader got half a track on number two. The fight for three, though, through the tabletop. Tyler Hooks wants that spot back. Nick needs to be 11 feet wide to hold him off as they go through the spine. 33 seconds. About two more laps for these guys as they cross the line. Into the wagon wheel they go. Through the tabletop. Into the chicane rhythm. Over the double, double. Three and four. Talon not far away. He just needs to keep it clean and all in all fours. He's down the straight through the Queen's Gambit. Here comes three and four for one more lap. Does Tyler make it? Oh, he does make it. As we close out, there's the bell. So you are done as you cross the Mandela's line. Done. Nick is going to hold on to that Brennan number Schimmel three done. spot. Andrew Kaufman done. And Talon Henley done. Talon holds on to that Queen number Dunn two. Done. Nick, Nick holds done. on to three. Tyler four. Tyler done. Damon Smith done. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think this All guy's alive right here. Finished. Oh, no. Apparently Jeff broke out. The race is completed. So for this second A2, Brennan, Talon, and Rick are our top three. Forty plus coming to the stand. All righty, guys. So looks like Brennan getting that one. Talon in the two. I don't know what the finishing order was. I think Mike Winders might have won that one. Did you win that one, Mike? I think, Mike, didn't you already win one already? Terrible. Uh, did you win one already, Mike? Let me know. It's okay if you did, but you already have my information, so I don't have to type it in. Oh, you didn't win? All right. Well, way cool. Congratulations. Send a message there. All right, 40 plus A2 coming up. We're going to have 40 plus. 
Enjoy, my friends. Watch the straightaway, watch the straightaway. Something slipped over. Okay. And then to answer, Andrew Bishop looks loose compared to yesterday. Did they do something to the track? Um, well, it's a lot colder today, and it's raining out. So I don't know if that's anything, but uh, it's colder and it's raining out. So probably some more moisture in the track overall. And number two, Jason Rona took the first one from second on the grid. Let's see what he's got in this one. Still don't have uh, Rich out there waiting on Chris and Rick. Are those guys going to make it? Rick, Chris, and Rick. Or whatever. Are they coming? Did they go get food or something and didn't make it back? Okay. Uh... Unless somebody tells me in, we'll say, 10 seconds whether they're coming or not. Oh, Rick. Uh, Rick Blunt, are you over there? No? Nope. Okay, we're going to go. Yeah, we have five checked in. So, I, okay, good enough for me. A main number two, 40 plus two wheel drive buggy going live at the sound of the tone in lesson five. Alex is going to lead him off. Tommy Smith in the two spot. Jason Rona following suit in the three. Ooh, quick moves, making money moves through the wagon wheel. Getting to that two spot early. Jason Rona coming up short over the track cut double. And Alex Sturgeon has a huge lead. Let's see if Jason can put his head down and reel him in. So Alex, Tommy, two Omaha hobby plexers. Reliving the days of old uh, here in 40 plus modified buggy. Alex Sturgeon down the double and through the wagon wheel. Ooh, that could have been bad. Jason Rona, after that mistake in the first couple laps, has already worked his way back up to the three spot. We're one minute and 15 seconds in. This A main number two is of 40 plus modified buggy is brought to you in part by Stairmaster, Life Alert, and Jitterbug Phones. If you can't see the the, the uh, buttons on your phone, get a Jitterbug. You have no problems. You will see them. So Alex down the straightaway he goes running that B6.3, spinning out, but has a lot of room. A lot of room. Tommy Smith still holding her down in that two spot. He's looking good. Jason Rona right behind Tommy now. Through the center doubles and down the short shoot over the lump. We're three minutes down, or three minutes left to go. Three minutes left to go. Jason Rona taking out Tommy. There we go. Oh. Uh oh. It wasn't really a takeout. It was kind of one of those racing deals. So Alex Sturgeon now with a pretty decent lead. He's over the spine and down the straightaway. Let's check the gap. We're a little over halfway. Eight point eight seconds the gap between Alex and Tommy.
So two minutes left. Two minutes left. Oh, yeah. It says it. Two minutes left. Alex Sturgeon out front. Tommy Smith, two. Jason Rota, three. Jeffrey, fourth. Eddie, five. Rich, Chris, and Rick didn't make it to this one. Oh. Alex Sturgeon over the center double, or over the front double, rather. Through the wagon wheel and over the chicane with the jumps. Jumpy chicane. Back doubles. Short shoot. The big lumps. Over the spine. And down the straightaway. Coming up on one minute left. One minute left. Oh, yeah. So unless something pretty crazy happens, which I don't know, it is Alex in 40 plus. Um, looks like Alex might have this this round or this main. But nice thing about it is it takes it to A main number three. That sweet, sweet, savory A main number three victory. Somebody's going to win 40 plus. Somebody's going to be ridiculed on the way home. I can't wait. 25 seconds left. 25 seconds. Gonna may Alex probably make one more lap after this one. Transponder 5883648. Jeffrey Kaufman done. All right. It's Alex Sturgeon you when you're done. done. It's waiting on Dummy. Tommy Smith done. Eddie, Eddie Henley done. And Jason. Jason Ruana done. And it's a race. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Well, I'm thinking you got another race here that might be coming up. I don't know. Yeah, I do. It's you do. Time. Awesome, man. Good running out there, keeping the dream alive. Yeah, dude. I I, uh, I find new and innovative ways to screw up 40 plus when I TQ. So uh, I was a little shaky on the start for some reason. And then after I saw them crash, I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Just drive. Don't make any mistakes. Fill in and back in it. I got a funny kick on the on the double here, and, it, and I was like, oh, here we go. But then it came back. So. Um, I don't know. Going on an A3, I just got to do that over again. I lowered the right height slightly in my car. Traction was a lot better that time. Car was easier to drive. And uh, we're good. Thanks to everybody back home that's watching at the uh, original Hobbyplex uh, in Omaha, Nebraska. Make sure you sign up for our INS race here uh, coming up soon. You got it, buddy. Congrats. Yep, thanks. All righty. KP says, one, two, three, I win. Nope. Rudy already had that one. It's reserved. And KP, you guessed two, three, one. From my messages that I have here. Nobody can guess one, two, three. Not allowed. The sun is all over the place right now. All righty. All right, all right, all right. KP says I made a mistake. <laughs> Is Kevin Stewart? He's saying I guessed right. You can't guess one, two, three. And Kevin Stewart, you guessed Jason, Tommy, Alex. 
That was also incorrect. You guys can't... I got your guys' comments here. All right, since everybody already knows the top three in the last one, it's going to have to be top four. Top four. You guys already have an idea of how these guys finish, so I got to give it to you. Top four in order. Top four in order. Top four in order. <laughs> Kevin Stewart's like, I guessed right. Kevin. I can see your guess. <laughs> Jason, Tommy, Alex, that's what you guessed. It was incorrect. You had, the, I guess, the correct guys, but not in the right order. Top four, top four, guys. Top four, I'll give you a four-minute mark. Enjoy. A couple people struggling on the chicane after the tabletop. And it does look like Alex is bumped up there to the three spot through the back of the field. Oh, no, man, stuck on the pipe. Nobody can do one, two, now three, we four. Have Brennan, Jacob, As well. Alex, no Tyler one, two, three, hooks. fours. And those that's top what four that's what Rudy guesses. Tyler Hooks looks like he's got that's a oh, fair. a man gets up. Oh, nope, Tyler takes it back. Tyler Hooks got a man all over his wing, up over the doubles, nose to tail. Alex giving Jacob Hardison a run for his money, but Alex gets it wrong. He's over on his back. Tyler Hooks gets a very unfortunate Marshall in the way spot. That's going to now put him back to that four spot. Alex racing him. Jacob Hardison now having a tick of space. He's just looking for Brennan Schimmel, but Schimmel is just like he's been all weekend on fire. He's in the back, coming up on his lap traffic. That yellow and pink car is your leader. Give him a little bit of space. Looks like Tyler Hooks is in that three spot. Alex is chasing. We got quite the train for three through six, it looks like. Four cars training over the tabletop. Tyler, Alex, Talon, Jeff. Brendan Schimmel over the double by himself. Then it's Jacob Hardison by himself. Up the train is kind of loosened up a little bit. Tyler Hooks getting a little bit of breathing room. Alex, Jeff, and Talon. Oh, there might have... Oh, we're going to have a change in the lineup for sure. Oh, no, Javon stuck in the pipe as he was trying to let Jacob by. So it's Brennan, Jacob, Tyler, Alex, and Jeff. Oh, now there's a man down. And also, if you guys are guessing past, like, the four-minute mark, it doesn't count. Tyler making some progress catching up to Jacob Hardison, it looks Two minutes like. left. Brennan still leading it out as he comes into three cars. His lap traffic as he crosses the double. Now he's headed to the wagon wheel. Things get crazy right here. He gets past two of them quick and easy. He's out to the double, out to the far back, over the roller. Jacob Hardison through the double the tabletop. So is Tyler. Looks like the race for second is going to become interesting with one minute 25 to go. Brennan Schimmel putting in a 22.57 a while back. Another heater on his part. Battle on camera right now is between Tyler Hooks and Hardison. They come on the straightaway. Tyler Hooks trying to catch him. Tyler in the techno. Mod center drive system. Hardison AE mod center drive system. Coming around. These guys are going to be going on to the straightaway. Very soon. 38 seconds to go. 
They should get this one and probably one more. So they're going to get this lap and one more. One more for them. Oh, no. Now Tyler Hooks is right there as they go nose to tail in the back roller through the switchback over to the spine. Now they're down the left side. One lap left for both of them. This will be the battle for second. Into the wagon wheel, two and three, go. Now they're onto the tabletop. Don't marshal that guy in front of them. Thank you very much. Now through the double-double. They're out to the back, over the roller, Brennan into the switchback, to the right. Jabon Tyler, Dunn. oh, gets jammed up. Oh, that's so Andrew unfortunate. Cockman that's going to allow Jacob Hardison to get away and take that number two spot. Brennan's. Jacob Hardison done. Tyler Hooks done. Talon Henley done. Jeff Statkiewicz done. A lot of energy, a lot of energy Alex right Sturgeon there. Done. All drivers are finished. The race is completed. Well, man, awesome run out there. Start to finish grabbing four-wheel drive. Awesome run in two-wheel as well. And uh, looking for that last uh, two-wheel drive win. Yeah, we're trying. You know, four-wheels have been amazing all weekend. Two-wheels getting there again. So it was amazing yesterday. We're trying to get it back to that point. Awesome, man. Anybody want to think out there? Uh, Tom, uh, he's been working on my cars all weekend. Roger as well. He's been helping out. Uh, everybody back home, obviously, and uh, everyone that supports me. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, guys. Nobody won that last one. It was one, two, three, four. So Rudy won that one. And Rudy can't win, so... He's donating his shirt right back to the pot. Guess this next one, guys. Guess this next one. For race number 20. Race number 20. Top four. Top four. Race number 20. Top four. Rudy won a shirt, but he donates it back. Rudy donated it back. Because I said so. <laughs> All right, guys. One, two, three, four, one. <laughs> I know. You get the easiest guess the entire time. Guess those. First one chiming in is Lucas Baker that I can see on my timing screen. Top four, top four, your chance to win. Andrew Bishop, you need to guess top four. Top four, top four. I see a lot of guys chiming in with one, three, two, four. If you guys are guessing what they got in the first one, that's cheatery. I might have to I might have to discount, discontinue that one. Because I'm seeing one, two, three, four, one, three, two, four, one, three, two, four. One, three, two, four. All right. If that guess is the same as what it was in the first one, I'm only going to give it to the first person. I'm a, I can look. I can easily look that up. Let me see if the, there's some cheatery going on here. One, three, two, four. Some cheatery that's happening. I'll be ashamed of you guys if that's some cheatery that's happening. These are some rules because it's fairness. Rudy doesn't like it. He's like, if it was Rudy, he would give away all shirts. <laughs> all right, enjoy it, guys. Right here. Looks like we've got drivers. We've got some marshals down there. This is A main number two. Four wheel drive. Modified buggy. We're going live, drivers on sound of the tone in less than five. And we're off. We go to Finn, leading us around here. Cole Tollard in that too. <clears throat> Evan Setzer, Kaufman, Hooks, Hallbaker, and Smith, and Bertram. Go to Finn, your race leader. Shooting off there. Oh, 
Got an issue with the car? Nope, all good. All right, so Dakota Fan, your race leader. Oh, Tyler gonna suffer from the pipe. Gonna get made worse. He's gonna drop back down to the five slot here. That put Evans in the two, sets her in the three, sets her with full company from Kaufman. Kaufman with a mistake in that rhythm chicane. That's gonna drop him back. So it is Evans and Setzer battling out for that number two slot. Kaufman and Tyler battling out for the four. Dakota Finn across the line already got a two second lead on Evans and Setzer. Setzer falling back just a little bit now, trying to make up some ground here on Dustin Evans. Dakota Finn won A main number one. He'll lock it in here if he wins A main number two. Coming to the straightaway we go. <coughs> Kaufman and Tyler, probably the two closest on track at the moment. They are coming across the line here. Separation, three tenths of a second. TLR versus Associated. And to that rhythm chicane they go. Double and double. Coming over the roller, that is the battle for that number four slot. Kaufman and Tyler through the spine back. Trying to make up time to Lee Setzer. Cross the line they go, over the double, <coughs> into the wagon wheel. It goes Dakota, Evans, Setzer, Kaufman, Tollard, your top five at the moment. Down the straightaway is Mr. Dakota Finn. Evans down the straightaway, Setzer, Kaufman, and Tollard. Zooming, Kaufman going to throw out the pipe a little bit, knocking into Marshall, he's all good. Into the rhythm, one, two, three. Four cars through. Nice and smooth for all of them. Sets are going to try and make a play here on Mr. Evans. Not quite close enough to have that move done, but he is getting close. Separation is going to be seven tenths of a second. Makes up four tenths that lap. Nice and smooth for Evans. And Setzer, very tight there on that landing for Setzer. Switchbacks. Through that short straightaway, over the spine back, there you go. And down the straightaway, Dawson Evans. That works. Not the most ideal, but functional nonetheless. Evans and Setzer, two and three. Through that back sweeper, over the roller, into the switchbacks. Evans leaving that door open just a little bit, but it's the farthest part of the track, the two least left. visible. So sets are not able to stick it in right there. They're coming across the line over the front double. First sweeper into the wagon wheel. Ah, oh, sets are going to tag the pipe. Evans going to get space back. So Hallbaker, that'll be Dustin Evans coming up on you. Setzer will be soon to follow. Tollard wants a piece of this action. He's not too far back. Dustin Evans. In that two sets or three, Tollard in the four. Dakota Fend, he is checked out at the moment. Two, three, and four, all working through those doubles at the moment. Through the switchbacks into <clears throat> the spine back. Watch the end of the straight, watch the end of the straight, end of the straight, end of the straight. All clear, all clear. Thank you, Mr. Hallbaker. Could have been over that roller One through the switchbacks. Zooming down that straightaway. In the spine back and down the main straight he goes. Dawson Evans, Lee Setzer, and Cole Tollard. Evans not quite a straightaway lead here. See what the separation is this time by. It was 1.4, now it's 1.6, so that is stretching out. Ooh, Setzer going to attack the pipe. Not bad enough for Tollard to capitalize, but much closer. Go to down the straightaway. Evans through that spine back. Setzer and Tyler through the spine back. Very nice line there for Mr. Tyler. Separation between them 1.1 as of the line. Co defend your race leader. Dustin Evans. Lee Setzer and Cole Tyler. Kaufman falling away from this battle now. Race leader with wide open track ahead of him. Lisa Time has done. expired on the master Cole clock. Toller, Lee Setzer, you are done. Tommy Cole Tollard, you are done. Setzer, you missed Aaron it by Hoffman point done. zero zero two. Aaron done. Dustin Evans and Dakota Fend are still alive. Dustin and Dakota are still alive. Looking for Tyler Hooks and Chris Bertram as done. well.
Dustin Evans done. Tyler Hooks done. One more to finish, one more to finish. So go ahead and blow off your section of the track. We got a 30 minute oh, brace man. Bridge, done. to go into All the A3s. Finished. The race is Awesome job out there, buddy. Car looked good, and I guess that uh, wraps up the weekend for you. Yeah, car was good. Was able to uh, make it make it happen today. Yesterday was a little shaky to start, and uh, Q1 and Q2 was able to uh, pull together for Q3, and then had a good day today. So wasn't sure what the rain was going to do to the track, but stayed pretty consistent the whole time and maybe had even a little bit more grip. So cars were good, and we'll uh, be heading out Silver State tomorrow, practice on Tuesday. So Awesome, man. I'll see you out there, by the way. We're going to raise some fist scale. Should be fun. Anybody you want to think out there? Yeah, thanks to uh, TLR for all the support, uh, Trinity for the great products, Jay Concess for these awesome events and tires, uh, Pro Performance RC, Bradley Fine Line Designs, Stick It One Racing, Lunsford, and then uh, Mod and you guys for the awesome coverage. You got it, buddy. Great job. Thank you. Are we taking another break? What? Rudy says this is a union. <laughs> it's a union racing out here. You know what, guys? With all you guys with the, what was it? One, one, three, two, four. I think that's what you guys were guessing. Or something like that. Yeah, it was like one, three, two, four or something like that. You guys had me sweating because if Lee didn't win that one, there have been like seven winners or eight winners on that one. What was it? What was everybody guessing? Yeah, everybody was guessing one three two four, but it was one three four two. I believe. I'm killing the spam. I'm trying. They might still exist there, but I killed I killed the the bots on my side. So yeah, guys. We saved J Concepts about seven. There was like seven people that guessed that that one combination. Are we going to A3? Okay, for A3, you guys have to guess the top five because all you guys are going to be using. Yeah, Rudy already gets one, two, three, four, five. Because you guys are going to be using the powers of checking the results from the last two. And I probably believe that Dakota is going to be sitting it out. Um, so you have to guess top five. Top five. And probably won't be using number one because Dakota's probably going to sit it out. So there can't be any two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Rudy's like, his guesses are totally ruined. Terry Brooklyn, he goes, oh, I won. Did you win, Terry? It was like one, what was it? Yeah, it was one, f it was something. Terry Brooklyn, let's see what Terry had. I'm gonna, I, can, I can look up here. Terry Brooklyn guessed one, three, two, four. I don't think that was it, Terry. I think it was I think it was one three four two. Yeah, because everybody guessed one three two four, Terry. It was one one three four two. You were one number off. No, nah, that's not that's not what it was. It was one three four two. Yeah, I know. If if you were like you were like seven other people, Terry. I don't know. I don't know why everybody guessed that one. It was like seven people had this. I was just, I was going to be giving all the J concept things away. They would have been not so happy with me. So I'm kind of happy that not anybody won seven of them. I know you guys want to win, but I also got to come back and then. Showing Jay concepts when I send them these messages with who won, and there's like 30 winners are are gonna shut down the program. So it looks like uh, already four wheel drive, four wheel drive is wrapped up, and two wheel for modified. So Dakota Finn winning that one. 
And I think Dakota's coming off of a win for Rornats in eight scale. So he's on a, he's on a, on a good one right now. He'll be at Silver State this next weekend. We will be too. So you guys can tune in. Uh, we'll be covering the fifth scale side of the event. We'll be putting on, it on as well. So tune into that one. Uh, watch some cool fifth scale action at Silver State. So that'll be fun. Um, let's see. Yeah, everybody for some reason was guessing one three two four. That was getting me, guys. I was I was gonna be in a world of hurt if you guys won. There was a bajillion of you that guessed that that combination. You guys all need to play the lotto numbers or something. Because all you guys were in unison for that. And it wasn't even the, the results from the last one. That's why I was letting it go. There was just something about one three two four. That everybody was queued in on. And you're almost right. If if Lee Setzer would have made one little mistake, it, it, that whole thing would have been a reality, and I would have had to give away so many shirts. I would have been a lot of shirts. Uh, he might be flying to Vegas tomorrow. I think he's. I think he's flying on Tuesday. I think he might be flying out on Tuesday. I fly out tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Uh, well, Rudy and I do. We go back to the shop. And then I have to pack up the van and the trailer and all the fifth scale stuff. Because uh, I'm putting on the whole fifth scale event. I'm doing the timing, the scoring, the live video, and the announcing. So Mod's going to be doing a lot for the fifth scale guys. So we're going to try and I have a whole crew going with me. So that should be fun. Uh, and then I think... Either Joey or Westergaard is going to be building the fist scale track. So we'll be underneath um, the full covered area right on the side of the freeway. So that'll be pretty fun, actually. It'll be our first time doing it. We were able to work with Joey from the dirt to make it happen. He really liked uh, what he saw when we had all the, the fist scale event out there. We've been trying to really grow that side of the hobby. And then, obviously, the media and all that we're able to do, it's kind of a no-brainer. We got everything to make it happen. Mike Glider says, ha ha, I win one time with it, and now everybody does it now. Yeah, something about those numbers. That was, everybody was on it. I don't know what was happening with, with what was it? One, three, four, two, or one, yeah, one, one, three, two, four. That's it, one, three, two, four. That was everybody's numbers. They're having another break. Um, so we're chilling. I guess between well, how many races? We got four, five races left. So five races. I really don't want to try and hook up the uh, the wireless stuff. Because I think it might still be raining. And I'm not going to take my cameras out into the elements So we're waiting right now, guys. Chilling. We should get Rudy in the booth here. Rudy, come in the booth. People can see you. Look at that. People can see you, Rudy. What happened? What are the people's knees? So, Rudy, what do you think about this place and what's what's going on today? He's a man of many words. <laughs> I think it's cool. I like the INS series. It's always a good time. We used to race this series back in the day. Yeah, we did. Back in like 2000. Back when both of us were fast. We were racing with MIP. We were racing four-wheel drive short course, stock buggy, and four-wheel drive stock. We like we kicked butt with those. I think this track is perfect for four-wheel drive short course. I know. I would say so, too. I missed that class. That was a good class. That was like what made my name in that class. Same with Rudy. I went to I, IR. What was it called? IERC. IERC. And he smoked me there. He had like 
the juju for the dirt that was there. It was terrible dirt. I hated that dirt. I could got not get traction, but like the techno four wheel drive that he had had like so much forward weight that he got all the traction on the front wheels. Totally dominated my car. I couldn't do anything. It's terrible. My car was terrible. And that was like the year after I like TQ'd over Drake for that for that class. That was fun. But yeah, so Rudy here and me, we used to be quick. We used to drive RC a lot. I know we're has-beens now. We're done. <laughs> it's over for us, guys. I think once you get to like where you have to like work all the time, it gets tough. It's tough to put time and energy in. We're racers, so if like we don't put the time or energy and we just like go and drive, it's like cheating ourselves. Not the same, yeah. You gotta, you gotta like, be into it. I miss it though. I would like to race again. I'm just too busy. I'm like, you guys should see my calendar. It's terrible. Let me see if I can pull up my calendar. It's terrible for the month of May, guys. There you go. That's my calendar for May. As you can see, it's not going to be, well, yeah, that's my calendar. So those are all things, the travel trips and whatnot. You can see all the little, the little bars. It's terrible. I'm going to be home one, two, Three, four, five, six. Six days within the month of May. I'll be home. That's terrible. And those will be spent at the office. That's terrible. Westcar says bring it back. Mike Glider says golly. I know. That's terrible. I need like one free weekend. Then we're like double, triple booked on other stuff. I'm going to be covering the Slot Car Worlds, guys. The Slot Car World Championships. If you guys have never seen Slot Cars, if you can go onto my channel, go onto the mod, the mod, uh, what is it? YouTube channel? Look up Piranha slot cars on my on my YouTube channel and you'll see how fast those little things are they're they're like 124 scales so are about this big and they're a, basically think about a 10 scale buggy wing so like a 10 scale buggy wing is what those slot cars is so you you've covered slot car racing what do you think of those things Rudy those things are wicked expensive they're like a thousand dollars for like the good ones like and they're and they're just like tube chassis that are like soldered together yeah, and then in the open class, they go through, like, a motor run, and then their motors are expensive, too. It's ridiculous. Like, the slot car guys are, like, next level with, like, zero drag on those things. And they like, the one guy there has crazy formula for bearing oil where it's, like, from NASA or something. He's, he's nuts. They got these controllers, like some of the drag guys. They got these controllers that looks like a little box that you blow somebody up with. It's crazy. So, yeah, Slot Car World Championships. That'll be pretty sweet. That'll be in Whittier, California. It's coming up. Because, like, no young slot car racers because you need so much money to drive them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a ton. of like, everybody's, like, you got it. you're, like, into it. You're so into it. And they don't even watch the track. They just, they just watch their, they go up and they look at the timing screen. And they just, like, every once in a while they move their finger. Mike Hess, so what are we waiting on? I'm in and out of the video. So there's another intermission, Mike, um, before the next races uh, for A3s. Yeah, A3s. Because basically the guys that just raced were the A-Main guys in four-wheel, and now it's going to be two-wheel drive mod. 
So they need time to get back, and then they're probably going to have to have a ton of, uh, of volunteer marshals as well because I think they're back-to-back. -back. So, yes. Mike Glider saying, slot car racing started me in RC. Love it. Wing car is the best. Yeah, it's crazy. West car says, I used to race slot cars. I know. That's crazy, guys. Crazy, crazy. What do we have left to eat, Rudy? We got like minimal, we're on minimal rations here, guys. When, when we wake up, 9 o'clock. We haven't eaten yet all day, by the way. Well, I've had some. I've had some Mike and Ike sours, but these are not good as Zours, guys. So Zours, so Mike and Ike, if you're listening to this, which I know you're not, but these are terrible in comparison to the Zours. You guys ruined that candy for me. Well, Mike and Ike Zours were delicious, Rudy. They used to be delicious. Rudy's like, they don't have Mexican candy. He wanted some Mexican candy. So what? So come over here, Rudy. What were you sad about about the Mexican candy? What did they have? They had those sour dots or something? Yeah, they had something that said, like, fire on it. I was like, that? And you're like, look, Mexican candy. I'm like, that's not Mexican candy. I was like, we're, I'll try this Mexican candy. It's terrible, guys. It's terrible. It's like those micheladas where you have that little, like, red stuff on it. They're terrible, too. I tried that. They're god-awful. Yeah, but still better than drinking liquor. Fuck that. Hey, you can't say that <laughs> offline. <laughs> Get us bad, Rudy. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That's on him. <laughs> you guys have to find this guy. You have to find Rudy Rico. His address is in Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> Send him the bill for the <laughs> the f bomb that he just dropped. I think that's like fifteen thousand dollars. If you say it on national television, <laughs> it's like ten grand or fifteen grand. It's terrible. <laughs> Let me see. Western Boss says, does anybody remember the Bonkers candy? Those were so good. I never tried that. And then I got, like, Junior Mints here, guys. And I had to rip open the package because look at this. Look at this. They get any sort of heat, and they crumble. Look how melted they are. It's terrible. It's like sticking to it. <laughs> That's all we got left for candy, bro. <laughs> over here laughing hysterically I think there was 12 I got the package down here those are delicious that's all I have to eat they don't feed us we could go get food on our 30 minute break well, yeah, well all we should have I think our 30 minute break's probably over by now Nutri-Grain bars delicious Nutri-Grain sponsor us these are delicious especially the strawberry ones Big Buck is not here. He used to send us like fifty bucks. He'd be like, "Go get, go get dinner on me, guys." That's why he's not here. He's like, "I'm gonna have to keep donating to these guys." <laughs> we just, we need somebody to call it in and <laughs> send us food, like DoorDash or something. We need to have a designated person that sends us DoorDash. Mr. Game Bar. It should be me. I got no time. I've got to call him and stuff. Oh. <laughs> I went my backpack. <laughs> I got to go get it.
My backpack was sacrificed. That was terrible. Do we gotta adjust all the cameras here? It's getting so dark in here. There we go. Let's see. Camera number two. So dark. Gotta adjust all the cameras as we get ready. What's going on? West Car is saying I'm about to Uber Eats you something. <laughs> we get Nutrigrain bars. Crappy Mike and Ike's. Water. We should have got something to eat. I didn't know the second, the second intermission was coming up. I don't know. We haven't been eating all of our dinners. I think your stomach shrinks. I'm not a doctor. I think when you eat less, like your stomach actually shrinks. I think it's true. You train yourself to eat less. Yeah, we have one kid. We, like, finished up our, like, I think I had steak. What would you have, Rudy? Pasta? Yeah, pasta. And we, like, finished half our meals. And then the kid finished his whole meal, just like ours, and then finished both of ours afterwards. That was, it was impressive, actually. I was very impressed. I'm like, you're going to be up quick, too. Like, he scarfed it down. Like, competitive eating, yeah. It was terrible. It was, I couldn't do it. <laughs> Can't say that. Blood Shadow says, looks like you are all abandoned. <laughs> Basically. So it looks like looks like we're gonna be getting this one going. Oh yeah, the power of our cameras giving us good lighting right now. Pretty cool place out here. I like adrenaline, especially this whole tent contraption thing they have here. Tent building. It. Uh, we had that huge rainstorm. It would have ended our days. And Rudy this morning, what were you saying, Rudy? You're like, it ain't going to rain today. Chance. Yeah, but when we were coming down here, you were like, nope. The clouds, and I was like, there ain't no, oh, I can't guess. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no great clouds around here. <laughs> He's like, no. He's like looking up at the sky and everything. He's like, no, it ain't going to rain here. And then like an hour in, it's pouring cats and dogs. All right. There's some interesting stuff happening back there. BJ Williams, Matt, I need someone to help me with a promo vid. What kind of promo vid, BJ Williams? You can message me if need be. Oh, <laughs> Rudy's like, only fans. It's terrible, Rudy. Do they even do OnlyFans anymore on OnlyFans? I thought it was like non-OnlyFans. I don't know nothing. I honestly have never donated to that site. <laughs> Free subscriptions only. <laughs> 
This is terrible. All right, we got the main boys coming out here again. Main dudes. All righty, guys. All righty. Hope you guys are enjoying the live stream. Be sure to comment, subscribe, share, like, everything like that. Special thanks to jconcepts.net for bringing us out. What's going on with these spam bots? Oh, all right. Five more races. Five more races. Yes. All right, guys, I have no clue of where the other guesses went. So those that are here, put in your guesses for top five. Top five. Dakota will not be in this one. So top five guesses. Top five guesses. So you don't need to put a one in there. Get your guesses in top five. Top five for your chance to win a shirt. Obviously, you're able to see the results from the first two. So you know who's fast. So top five, top five. Top five, top five. Enjoy, guys, enjoy. Oh, that's cute. You guys are even leaving the number one spot open. How kind. 17-5 is. Alrighty, looks like I've got some marshals. Looks like I've got me some drivers. So we're, we're racing for second place here. Looks like we are all good to go. Drivers and marshals. We're going to go live on the tone. Less than five. We are off and rolling here. Cole Tollard, our race leader, leading us around through the wagon wheel. Lee Setzer all over that back door, nice and early. Going to try and make a move and play defense. Almost has a look inside there, but not quite yet. Not quite enough room there into the spike. He goes for it again. Not enough just yet. Down the straightaway they go. Tollard, Setzer, Evans, Kaufman. Brenton, Sturgeon, and Smith. Through the wagon wheel, there you go. Into the rhythm chicane. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Race leader Cole Tollard. Coming through that short straightaway, through the spine back, and down the straightaway he goes. Now with a little bit more breathing room up on Lee Setzer. Dawson Evans, Aaron Coughlin, Will Brenton, Emerson Sturgeon, and Tommy Smith rounds out your field through that rhythm chicane once again. So far, so good. A little bit of a correction there out of Setzer, and he shorts the double. That puts Evans by, collects Kaufman with him. So that's going to put Dawson Evans into that number two slot. Three forty to go, three forty to go. Evans with a mistake there. That puts Setzer back into that number two. Tollard still leading us around. Kaufman all over the back door of Lee Setzer. They're driving nice and clean here. Through that spine back and down the straightaway they go. 
motors look pretty equivalent. Not one being crazy more powerful than the other. And that wagon wheel once again. Double. And double. Followed by another double double. Three minutes, three minutes to go. Lee Setzer in that number two slot, trying to defend from Aaron Kaufman right here. Aaron with a three and a four, Setzer with a four and a five. Ah, oh, Setzer inside the pipe. Gets lucky there. Kaufman actually helps him out, but Kaufman is going to take over that position. Down the straightaway they go. Tollard working on stretching out right now. So the battle is Kaufman and Setzer. They're coming into the wagon wheel. Setzer looking for a way around. Nothing quite yet. Tight on the pipe. Ooh, a little bit of a mistake out of Kaufman. He cases that 90 degree double there. Coming out of the rhythm chicane. Setzer going to take back over that number two slot. Here comes Cole Tollard across the line. Sets across the line and Kaufman. Two minutes left. Minute 50 to go, minute 50 to go. Kaufman with a mistake there. So now Setzer with some breathing room. We're going to try and put in some hot laps. As of now, if things finished this way, Kaufman would have a three and a three. Setzer would have a four and a two. So it would come down to a tiebreaker at six points. Still lots of time. A minute, 30 to go. Doesn't sound like a very long time, but for a sprint race like this, anything can happen. In just that short amount of time, the entire race could change. Minute 15 to go, minute 15 to go. Setzer's across the line. And Kaufman. Kaufman makes up two tenths that time. 105, 105 to go. Setzer over the doubles and Kaufman. Separation as of the line was 1.4. One minute left. 55 seconds to go, 55 to go. Probably we're going to wait through some traffic right now. Almost gets a little tight there. Oh, he jumps on top. All good though. He makes it out. Still going to hold on to that number one spot. Down the straightaway we go. 30 seconds left. Kaufman and Setzer coming down the straightaway. Around that sweeper into the wagon wheel. Into the rhythm chicane. Tollard now much closer. 15 seconds left to go. They probably will make it by for one more. It's going to be really tight though. 10 seconds left. Tollard, he might squeak by. It's going to be extremely tight. Five, four, three, two, one. They cross with just one second to go. Through the wagon where they go. Setzer needs this lap to go well in order to take position, hopefully for the overall. We'll see how it works out. They're coming through the doubles. Coffin looking for a way around. He's looking high. He's looking low, but there is nowhere to go. Down the straightaway into the spine back. Setzer nice and tight. Coffin gets it all sorts of wrong. Setzer down the straightaway. Just needs to cross the line, and he will finish up in the two. Setzer done. Aaron Coffman done. Awesome job out there, man. Tone to tone. Yeah, I uh, kind of got scared the uh, last couple laps there with traffic. I had a pretty good cushion, but uh, anything is possible on these uh, trick, uh, tricker, yeah, tricky track conditions. So You got it, man. Anybody want to think out there? There's all my sponsors yet again, family back at home watching. Uh, it's been a fun weekend, and hopefully we could close it out with a one and four wheel. Great job, buddy. Thank you. Awesome battle there at the end, man. You know, you've been super fast all weekend long. Just kind of like weird little mistakes here and there. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, just kind of bad driving error on my part. I mean, my stuff has been awesome. Uh, just tracks, uh, you know, it's tough. I mean, it's like, tough to go out there and run five minutes. It's just a lot of little things out there, uh, divots in the track, and, you know, got to gotta be consistent. So, but, yeah, it was a good battle. Aaron kept the pressure on me and uh, had a nice little last lap. Cole got into a little bit of traffic, so... I was like, oh, maybe uh, maybe there'd be a, a lead switch here, but uh, no, it was, it was a good three-way battle. 
Awesome. Look great out there, man. Anybody want to thank? Yeah, my parents back home, uh, my girlfriend Hannah, uh, Jason Rona, Brent Thelke, all my sponsors for all the help and support. And yeah, Congratulations. And, and you guys, obviously, for all the coverage. Thanks, awesome. buddy. Thank you. All righty, guys. Hopefully you guys are liking the stream. Michael Hamilton out of the U.K. Michael Hamilton's actually my best friend's name. Actually lives with me at my house in California. That's pretty funny. There's another Michael Hamilton out there. It's kind of a common, I guess, name, but weird. I don't think anybody won that last one. Let's get our guesses in, guys. Let's get our guesses in for this one. We're going to do top four. Top four, top four. Top four. Yes. So top four for this one. Top four, top four. Let's see who might win this one. Top four, top four, top four. Mike has one, four, two, three. One, two, four, three. Top four, top four. Chance to win a J Concepts t shirt. Enjoy, guys. Uh oh, we didn't make it through the game, but we got to pile up. It's going to make quite the difference now as we get started. But Brennan makes it happen for himself. Leading us around with Alex in the two, it looks like. Or whoever's red, white, and blue. We'll see who it is. Oh, no, that's not red, white, and blue. That's Tyler Hooks. Jeff in the three, Damon in the four, Talon in the five. After one lap, oh man, not navigate. Cole showing amazing athleticism. Amazing athleticism from Cole Tollard. Brendan Schemmel just getting farther and farther away. Tyler Hooks in the two, but the battle is Damon, Talon, Ben. Oh no, now this man stuck on the wagon wheel. Another change in that spot. Watch the table, watch the table. Cole's an amazing marsh. So Talon taking that three spot. Damon in the four. Nick in the five. So three, four, and five, crossing the tabletop. Looks like Nick applying a lot of pressure there on the back door. Looking for a way around in the switchback. Oh, a mistake lets him by. Now he's on that four. Talon's in the three, so Nick's looking to take advantage of him in the next couple of laps. Brendan Schimmel in the far back with Tyler Hooks close behind. Up over the spine, one and two go. Tyler Hooks not letting Brennan Schimmel get too far away. If Brennan makes a mistake, Tyler's right there to capitalize. Talon's got that number three at the moment as he goes through the double-double in the midfield.
Tyler looks like he might be game up. Oh, no, it was a little fumble there. That's Brennan have a tenth of a second or two. But they are in the back over the roller through the switch back up over the spine. And now down the left side through the numbers and over through the Queens gambit over the front two double one left. and two. Talon also not far behind. He may be closing the gap on Tyler Oaks with a minute, 50 seconds to go. One, two, and three still in play. Nick and Andrew and Jeff battling out there for that number five position. Brandon and Tyler crossing the loop. Brennan in the back, so that yellow and pink is your leader. Give him a tick of space. One minute to go. One minute left. Brennan Schimmel coming across the line right now with 45 seconds remaining. Tyler's got to get around Ben here in the switchback. Ben lets him by. Thank you very much. Tyler over the spine. He is still fighting it out with 20 19 seconds as he crossed the line. This will be his last lap, it looks like to me. There's a smidge of a chance that Brennan will get by for a victory lap. Our leader over the spine, down the left. There's Andrew the bell. Done. Nick Ruffin done. And Brennan getting it Brennan done Schimmel for done. the win. Tyler Hooks done. Tyler Hooks for the two. Talon Henley done. Talon for the three. And that ben is Ellis the done. final lineup as well. Jeff Brennan, Stack Talon, Hewitt's and done. Tyler. No, I mean for the final final. And that are all of our trucks Damon with Damon across the line right there. Well, man. After that one, he didn't uh, didn't let you go there the entire time. Tyler was on you, but uh, he just kind of kept that lead and uh, both TQs and wins. Yep, I mean I was just trying to hold the cap, uh, but yeah, they all they got a lot of pace today uh, from the qualifiers. Congratulations, man! And uh, anybody want to thank out there? Yeah, uh, Tom, he's been wrenching all weekend. Roger's been helping. He came from my uh, local track with me, and uh, everybody else back at home. And everyone supports me. Congrats! Thank you. All right, guys. Top. I think there's only like five guys in this one. Let me see. Let me see. I think there's only t I think there's only five or six. So we're gonna go top. Eh, top four. We'll do top four. Top four. Top four. And it cannot be one, two, three, four. Top four. Top four. This 
Two wheel drive, modified 40 plus buggy. Brought to you by candy that used to look like tobacco products that they don't make anymore. Ibuprofen. New Balance shoes. And remembering how great things used to be. 40 plus buggy. So your order, and this one is still up for grabs. It's going down to A3. Your order is Alex Sturgeon on the number one, Tommy Smith on the two, Jason Rona on the three, Jeffrey on the four, and Eddie on the eight. Well, we'll move him up to the five. No problem. No problem. Okay. So we got all of our marshals out there. Drivers are ready. Core marshals are ready. A main number three, a 40 plus modified buggy coming at you at the sound of the tone. Alex going to lead him out. Jason Rona looking high, looking low, looking nowhere. Can't find anywhere to go. Going around the outside of Tommy Smith to get that sweet, savory number two spot. But Alex Sturgeon is leading him out. Jason Rona has a win. Alex Sturgeon has a win. Tommy Smith has two seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Anybody in the top three could win this one. Who's it going to be? Alex Sturgeon through the wagon wheel. Jason Rona not letting him get away over the, the doubly thing. Middle double, center section. Alex going a little wide. Jason tightens up just a little bit. Down the short straight away, over the spine. Around the back and down the straight away. Let's check the gap this time by. 0.75 the gap, 0.75. Oh no, Tommy getting it wrong on the on the tabletop corner. He's gonna let those two break away a little bit. But it's the Alex and J Ro show out front. Alex leads him by. 0.99 the gap now. Alex edges out just a little. Oh, never mind. I looked away. Jason has the lead. So Jason Rona out front. Alex turns into two. Alex Sturgeon did get the TQ, so if Jason Rona wins this one, the overall, it would be a tie in points. It would go to the next round. If you're following the tour at home, Jason getting a little squirrely whirly at the end of the double here. Alex looking for a way by. Tries and gets him on the inside. Gets him on the inside and over the back doubles. Three minutes left to go. Alex Sturgeon back out front. Jason Rona too. See what we can do here. Ooh, a little wheelie action going on the straightaway. Jason bounced off the pipe in the wagon wheel, no problem. Gathers it back up. Just needs to put his head down and keep pushing. Two point one the gap now. Two point one. Watch the the uh, triple E double E thing, whatever it is. The tabletop chicane. I think that's what it is. See, it's all. It's been. I've been here for like four days, and now I'm finally learning what everybody calls everything. That's your second place car. That's your second place car. Car going down the Two minutes straightaway. left. Last time by 1.2, or I'm sorry, 1.9 the gap. A little closer. Minute 30 left, minute 30 left. About a straightaway separates the two of them. About the straightaway. Watch the tabletop corner. Alex had to check up a little bit. Jason did not. Check the gap next time by. Buck 15 left on the clock. Buck 15. Red car one with no wheels. Left. We got one more coming at you. One more 
after Al or yeah, the blue car. That's your second place driver. Make sure you give him plenty of room. Oh no. Might put a fork in it. Watch the chicane here in front of me. Ooh, that was close. Money moves. Twenty five seconds. Twenty five seconds. Ten seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Run him to the line, run him to the line, unless something really crazy happens. I think Alex is going to take this one. Yep, and he sure does. Alex Sturgeon done. Jason Ruana done. Jeffrey Kaufman done. Boy, they definitely don't make him like that anymore, am I right? <laughs> Awesome job out there, man, and uh, good battle there all the way to the end. Yeah, I almost found a way to screw that one up again, but the uh, um, car was really good. I just doinked it and uh, was like, oh, here we go, but was able to get by. That was a fun pass through that uh, that tough section. That's been the section all week to work on, and uh, even I mean, I was struggling there all day, every day, tiptoeing through there. Um, but, man, such a fun race. I love these INS races. I love 40+. plus. I'm 43, so I waited a year, and then uh, 42, 43 years old, I get to run it, and it's fun having Jason here is fun um, to race it with us. That was a blast. So um, I don't know. I'm just, I finally did it. I finally won a 40 plus race without screwing it up. So <laughs> Congratulate. <laughs> awesome job out there, Jason. Had the had the pass there a couple times, and uh, man, making it happen out there. Any adjustments from beginning of the day till now? Yeah, I mean, really what kind of helped me a lot is uh, Lee and um, Cole Tollard worked on the car a little bit yesterday. Uh, just the new, you know, the latest speed control settings, a little bit of stuff here and there. And then we kind of, I thought my tires really kind of uh, came in. And they worked really well. Uh, you know, th I think the, the whole thing just really kind of came together for me overall with the car. And I was just getting faster and faster. You know, I was kind of monitoring my faster laps and the averages, and I was... You know, I got here, I was doing 32s and 31s and 30s, and then, you know, now today I think I was you know, 25 one or something like that. So getting a little closer to be, you know, I think where uh, I could be. And, uh, yeah, just um, Alex made a sweet pass there in the tough section. I mean, I, I knew it was possible that he could do that when I was there, but I'm like, I, I was having a lot of trouble there too. And I was, for the most part, I was just trying to be real conservative and not really go for it because I, I didn't really have the line uh, there all weekend. So, yeah, it was a great race for him. He made one little mistake. I kind of almost made the exact same mistake, I think, the lap later. Uh, but, yeah, then he made the nice pass, and then it was all over from there. Awesome, man. Well, great job out there. Thank you. You know, I know everybody's enjoying the, the INS event out here, and uh, we'll see you at Silver State and uh, NTTS uh, later on this month. Absolutely. Thanks, Matt. Tyler Hooks. Is there anybody on one that can help me out? Top five, top five, top five, top right, five. Let's... I'm going to have to get rid of this one, two, one, three, two, four guesses. Too many of those. I don't know what's up with that number. I need to go play the lotto. Four is actually... Uh, I don't know. I think, I think there's no four out here. Oh, no, there might be. Who locked this up already? I'll say, so there's no one. One is gone. One is gone. Thank you. 
The whole field goes by. So now it looks like it's going to be Jacob Hardison with a little bit of a breathing room. Then we're going to have Jeff, Alex, Nick. Nope. Yeah, Andrew. All right, so Jeff in that two spot with Nick in the three, Alex in the four in pursuit. Our leader just crossed the double. Jeff now just crossing the double behind him. Nick now in that three. Alex wants it back. Nick starting to create a small gap as he goes over the roller. The leader crossing the double. If the orange car comes up on you, give him some space. Thank you very much. Jeff now just completing the wagon wheel through the tabletop, our number two. Nick and Alex battling it out. Oh, Nick gets it wrong, but Alex can't capitalize. But maybe he'll get it back. He does get it back. He now gets that three spot. Now Nick in pursuit and a whole train of them going over the roller. Alex now leading the three spot. Nick wants it back. Our leader with a little bit of room. Jeff a fair amount back. We got... All kinds of mayhem going on on the front. So Alex up over the roller, benefiting from a terrible mistake. Oh, man, down. So now things are going to change yet again. Nick getting by there. Two minutes left. So Damon gets all the way up to the three in that last lap. Just... Now changing things up. Our number three through the double-double. Then it's Nick. Another pipe accident in the back. So changing things up. But Alex rolls and can't take that spot back. So we got Damon, Nick, and Talon battling it out for that second place. Our leader coming down the left to the loop. And there's Jeff in the two slot. So the serious battle is here up on the front. Damon and Nick crossing the loop almost identical. Damon trying to keep it away. He wants to be 11 feet wide here at 59 second mark. Oh, he's able to hold off the fight behind him. Damon down the left side through the Queen's Gambit. Nick taking advantage of a little bit of a wide move and Damon rolls it over. So now Nick through the tabletop. All kinds of changes. Our orange buggy who's in first out to the right side. Um, Tyler Hooks again in the pipe. It's a terrible main for him Jeff still hanging on to two Nick and Damon three and four and it is quite the battle 12 seconds remain this will be the last lap for them there goes Jeff getting across the line Nick Rippin and done. Nick solidifies third there Damon Alex Smith couldn't done. make it happen Alex Sturgeon done so Damon Andrew gets that Kaufman four spot. Done. 
Jacob Hardison. Jacob Hardison done. taking the win Talon in a three. Done. Jeff taking the Javon two. Done. Jeff Statkiewicz done. That is a race. The race is Well, man, you've been announcing all weekend long. Yep. Kind of this whole facility I hear is because of you and getting into RC. Congratulations on the win. Thank you, sir. Uh, you know, I mean, I just went out there, did some driving. Uh, Schimmel already wrapped it up, and it just took a little too long to get the car kind of where it needed to be. It felt really good that time. A couple little bobbles, but luckily, you know, had some open space, so it kind of worked out. Awesome, man. Anybody want to think out there? Uh, Jay Concepts, Team Associated, Reedy, Factory Team, Alter Racing, FDJ, my parents, uh, you know, the whole nine yards, stick at one. Um, definitely my parents for, uh, you know, doing the facility and everything, getting to host the race. And, uh, you know, thank you to everybody who came out. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. All righty, guys. Top five, top five. Last one of the event. Top five, top five, guys. Top five, top five. Dakota Fenn will not be running this one, so you can take uh, the one out of it. So top five, top five. Your chance to win. Top five, top five. Top five, top five, guys. Top five, top five for your guesses. I see some guys with four. Top five, top five. Number one is gone. Number one is gone. Not ideal. All righty. Looks like uh, looks like we're all good to go. We got some drivers. We got us some marshals. Final race of the weekend here. A main number three, four wheel drive, a modified buggy, Dakota Fenn. We're wrapping it up in A1 and A2. Fighting for second here. On the sound of the tone, you will be live. We are off and rolling here. Pollard leading us out. Into that sweeper, into the wagon wheel. Through that rhythm chicane. Oof, a little bit wide there, Dustin. Super tight on the inside. Into that spine back. It is nose to tail. Coffin making early work of Setzer here as they come across this front double. Tollard, Evans, Kaufman, Setzer, top four, breaking away, Hallbaker. Pretty close to him, not quite falling off just yet. Oh, 
Oh, we got Mayhem in the back there. Tyler Evans and Setzer. Hallbaker and Kaufman. Hallbaker starting to run a mod this weekend. Now he can uh, defend against Kaufman. Nope. Kaufman gets by up the inside there. Let's see if he can fight back. But it's going to be Tollard, Evans, and Setzer. One, two, and three. Coming over that spine back and down. So here we go. Dustin Evans just sitting back waiting to see what Tollard does here. See if he can make a move up the inside or even the outside. Into those doubles we go. Evans with a really good run through there. Just nowhere to pass just yet. Oh, it looks up to the inside. Tries to motor down, but backs out super early. Lives to fight for another lap. But that is going to put Setzer right on the back door. These guys battling it super hard here. Nose to tail into that rhythm chicane. That checkup and defense allowed Setzer to get right up the back door. Setzer shorts that double just a little bit. All good though. He's back underway without any martial help. Tollard and Evans, one and two. Evans right up the inside there on that straightaway. Tags the pipe a little bit. Gets it up on two wheels. Luckily, no harm, no foul. Into that rhythm chicane. Sucks right back up the back door. Tollard as if that never even happened. One, two, three, and four. Kaufman joining in with these guys here. Down the city where we go. Tollard, Evans, Setzer, Kaufman, these guys showing us how it is done. Nose until they go through that rhythm chicane. Thank you very much, Mr. Bertram. Much appreciated. Over the roller into the switchbacks. These guys can't even blink. If they skip a beat, it is game over for them. Evans getting a great run. Tries to look at the inside once again. Todd shuts that door. They're into the wagon wheel. Evans, he's trying to find some place to go, but it's just not opening up yet. But there it is. Tollard gets it wrong in the rhythm chicane. Evans takes advantage of it. That puts Tollard down to the two. Sets are not close enough to two a move. Two minutes, but he is right. all over the rear wing of Cole Tollard, trying to put the pressure on him, make him nervous, make him make a mistake. But these guys are the paid professionals. They're not going to fall under pressure. Evans, Tollard, and Setzer, one, two, and three. The 74.1. Evans on the Pro-Line rubber. Tollard and Setzer on the JC rubber. Down the straightaway is Evans. Now Tollard and Setzer. Setzer to the rear end, getting a little wild there. Grabbing that throttle super hard. Trying to out-motor Mr. Tollard. Through that rhythm chicane they go. Can Setzer get around? We've got a minute 15 to go. Through that spine back and down straight away. Thank you again, Mr. Bertram. Much appreciated. Oh, he drives an inside line. He gets it done. He gives him the wheel. No harm, no foul. They had a little bit of contact, but he didn't take him out. That was quite the move. That's some textbook stuff right there. Utala gives him back the wheel. These guys battling super tight through the switchback. Rubbing a little bit of wheel here. Down through they go. Sets are now going to be in control of this fight. Can he defend from Mr. Tollard? Into the wagon wheel again. Sets are just a little bit wide. Luckily, not going to upset the car a whole lot. Tollard checks up. Oh, but he flat lands. Car rolls over. Sets are tons of breathing room here. All comes down to whether he can keep that car on all fours and off the pipe. 25 seconds left to go. Into the wagon wheel they go. I don't believe they'll make it by for one more. Ah, oh, Setzer gets it super wrong. Tyler going to come fight back now. There's eight seconds left. This is going to be the final lap for these guys. Dustin may make it by for one more just barely. Through the spine back for the final time. Down the straightaway. Setzer just looking to hang on. And he does. He gets it done. Dustin Evans on a victory lap right here. Aaron done. Aaron Kaufman done. Chris Burcham done. Couple more to finish up. Couple more to finish up. Dustin is still alive. Dustin is still alive. Tommy Smith done. Round down the straightaway to complete the final race of the day of the weekend. Dustin, Dustin Evans, Evans takes the win in A main number three. Oh. Well, good way to end it off there, man. Grabbing that win there at the end for A3. 
Uh, unfortunately, Dakota got away, got the win, but car looked amazing there in the main. Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, the track changes a lot as it rains and stuff like that. It was, yeah, it was definitely really good. A1, I was running second, like a second behind and got caught by a lap car, sat upside down for 10 seconds. But, I mean, yeah, it's just part of racing. Didn't have the greatest day, but got a win in A3, so. Oh, well, looking good out there, man. I've seen you shooting photos for Team Associated kind of all weekend long doing the, the media guy thing, too. And you guys have, I think, a debut race for the the 6.4. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the car is good. Um, yeah, we just first race with it and still a lot of things. This is definitely a very unique track from what we typically run on. So running a lot different setup than we'd normally run. But, yeah, it's time to get back home and get the thing dialed in. Awesome, man. Well, looking good out there. What's your next race? Uh, I honestly do not know. <laughs> well, coming out from more RC Raceway, I'm sure those guys are watching. Congratulations. Great job. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you at the next one, buddy. Yep, thank you for sure. Well, all right, guys. I think that uh, we're going to get into the podiums here soon enough. And uh, I think they're going to be wrapping everything up here. So we're going to stay live for podium shots so everybody can see. We so can see, bam, right there. So we got the, the podium all dialed in. I'll shift some stuff on the camera screen um, so it's a little bit more uh, uniform. And, uh, and we'll go from there. So thank you all for tuning in, and congratulations to all of our winners out there. Make sure that uh, you guys tune in for Silver State as well. On well, we'll We will be live for the Mod Fist Scale section, so like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you all for tuning in. I haven't gotten everything done yet. Special thanks to my boy Rudy here. You're on camera, Rudy. Shh, making it happen, man. So, dude, big shout out to this guy. He did all the camera work for, like, the entire event. So, I did one race. I did one. I did one. It wasn't very memorable. I did one race. But uh, Rudy killing it on camera. I was doing all the stuff in the background and switching and stuff like that. So, 
you know, special thanks to him. Hope you guys love the stream, like it. The best thing you can do is that you support jconcepts.net as well as modspeedshop.com. Helps us out a lot as well as uh, a few of those likes, follows, shares, everything like that. That helps us out a ton. Uh, so what do you think about the event, Rudy? I, I want to be back racing, man, every once in a while. I, I, especially this track. I, I think I would have enjoyed it. Yeah, you did really good at Motorama, and Dustin Evans compared it to Motorama. But, yeah, racing to be fun again, but too busy. I know, we're too busy, guys. Rudy here, he's going to be a lineman or something like that. I'm going to I'm gonna lose him here in August. He's been working for Mod full-time, and uh, he's going to get a, a big boy job and go up on, on what is it, power poles and stuff like that. Going to show those strippers how to climb a pole. <laughs> you can't say that, Rudy. <laughs> I'm going to be losing my homie for at least 15 weeks. I'm sure that we can maybe get him back for a couple of events. I'm hoping, you know, every once in a while, uh, get him back for an event or two or three throughout the year when he's not super busy. I'm sure he'll be able to uh, help us out uh, from time to time. So we're I'm hel hoping, hoping that. But, yeah, we will be back in... Basically, uh, a week's time. Uh, Rudy, I think, might be. We haven't decided yet, but most All likely right. he'll be man in the shop. Just so there'll be other guys on with what's going on at, at um, uh oh, something's happening. Because the pipe was cut and then the loop was, um, triggered. That is not a way that we can allow the results to be advanced. So there is basically a one second penalty that allows Lee Setzer to take that three spot for two wheel drive mod overall results. Oh. So something happening with Lee Setzer's time, I guess. Um, I wasn't exactly sure what happened. But uh, yeah. So, um... BJ Williams, Rudy, are you trying to get Matt demonetized? I'm not even like monetized here, bro. It doesn't matter. We don't get enough people watching this stream to even be monetized. We just do our thing. He didn't say a bad word. He just talked about stripper poles and stuff like that. That's terrible, guys. Don't don't be doing that. Never. That's for guys in their younger days. I'm old now. I'm 31. I'm getting old, dude. Yeah. Rudy got me a cool birthday card. I'm getting old. That was terrible. Ah, it's a way blown out. Quarter way done with the year? Yeah, we are. That's a lot. We got. I need to get through May. Once I get through May, I'll be a happy camper. You guys saw my schedule for May. I think I showed it to you. Not good. All right, Rudy. Let's start packing this stuff up. We'll leave on that camera. Everything. I'll leave. I'll leave this camera as well. For like final interview with Jason or something. All righty, guys. These guys are getting lined up. Lined up. Forty plus trophy winners to come to the track. So it looks like overall it's gonna be Dustin Lee and Cole for four wheel drive buggy. Dakota, Dustin, and Lee. 
Dakota, Dustin, and Lee for four-wheel drive mod. We'll do two-wheel drive mod next. That's going to be Dakota Finn, Cole Tollard, Lee Setzer, with Dakota Finn qualifying first. Cole Tollard is our number two, where is he? Super athletic man. Up oh, here comes Cole. We'll do 13-5, Expert, which is Brennan Schimmel, Jacob Hardison, and Tyler Hooks. Brennan Schimmel, Jacob Hardison, and Tyler Hooks. They'll be up next for trophy presentation. So next will be 17-5 expert. That will be Brennan Schimmel, Talon Henley, Tyler Hooks, top three. 17-5 expert next. So 17-5, Expert, Brennan, Schimmel, Talon, and Tyler.
Brennan Schimmel having a very successful weekend. And it looks like 40-plus will be Alex, Jason Rona, and Tommy Smith. On behalf of Adrenaline RC, congratulations to all of our winners today. And much appreciated thanks to J Concepts who allowed us to host this INS 12. Have a safe ride home. Check, check. Hello, hello. <sighs> All righty, Jason, our, our ceremonial, we're getting out of here. Yeah. Dude, awesome race. I think it threw everybody for a loop this weekend with the whole tire game, how the track came around, and something all new and kind of emerging uh, for this facility. Yeah, I mean, it changed everything, um, you know, with um, going out on the slicks uh, and the seating for uh, a couple guys and changed the whole race and actually made it better, I thought. Uh, the cars worked better with the slicks. Uh, they, everybody, I think, had more grip overall. And you can see the track, you know, looks amazing. I mean, it's got a nice little baby groove. Nice. Today it stayed a little wetter because it was raining outside, and I think there's asphalt underneath here. 
So I think it just kind of, you know, moisture stayed in it. But um, yesterday it dried out a little more, but it looks awesome right now. I mean, this is, I mean, it turned into from really a lot of unknowns to, you know, one of the best tracks we've been to. No, I would definitely agree. It looks like everybody had a ton of fun. There was good battles throughout. I don't think it was a one-line track at all. And, um, no, looking forward to the next one. So what can people look forward to uh, going into the to next uh, J-Concept races? Well, like you said, you know, Silver State's next weekend. And then uh, kind of a little bit of a, uh, you know, skip a week, I guess. And then we're going to do the, uh, the carpet race uh, up there in uh, Portland uh, or near Portland. Uh, with Casey Vital's track, and then we'll be, uh, you know, a couple weeks, you know, after that, uh, we'll be, uh, you know, it's June then, uh, so just it's just a lot going on. I mean, really, we got two of these races, or two of our races coming up. We got the one, like you said, that was uh, at Casey's at Northwest, and then we're gonna go in July back at um, Alex Sturgeon's track there at the Hobbyplex in Omaha. So. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I'm just kind of pretty pumped up for how this uh, track and everything really turned out. Uh, this is a really cool building here. Uh, it's a really deep uh, facility for a track like this. I think it was nice to have the 10 scales out on a little larger course. And, you know, I think this is going to be a great place to come from here on out. You know, we stick with these kind of conditions. We know the tire game a little bit more now. So with the smoothies and stuff like that out there that just a lousy i mean that's all i ran all weekend i brought him home i brought him from home on accident because i was just like hey uh, i'll just throw them in my bag and i ended up running them all weekend ran them in two classes they look beautiful um so it was really once we went to that it was just so much easier and the cars worked better and uh just turned out to be a, an entirely you know better race because of it no most definitely so those out there you know, uh, look forward to, you know, coming to this track in the future as well. Adrenaline RC Raceway. Thank you to Jay Concepts for being able to show everything out here. We had a ton of fun. Um, I like I like tracks like this myself. I need to get out here racing again. Dude, so much fun. Thank you so much, Jason, for everything. So go on there, guys. Grab something on jconcepts.net. You know, a uh, huge supporter of all the racing. You see Jay Concepts at everything. Brings Hannah out to all these races as well. And check out her awesome photos and the recaps that happen. And uh, looking forward to seeing you next weekend in uh, Silver State, Jason. Thank you so much for everything. And uh, uh, we're going to pack up and go get something to eat. All right, thanks, Matt. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's just it's great to be able to do these events, and uh, we look forward to seeing everybody soon. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.